pa pa pa. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, where's Twitter? There it is. Gotta mute that. And then, where game? Where game? Thank you, Stream Elements. I know what game I am playing. I like how I have that set up, but I don't have fucking a uh, proper shout out command set up, but that's cool. Okay, let's continue. Uh, actually, before I continue, I'm gonna take a sip of cheap red wine because that's what I have today. Theoretically, I should be able to beat this in like three hours. 40803. Is that. Four... Okay, yeah, it's the same. Ugh. I'm not a red wine person. <laughs> I, I am I am a white wine person. But I had this and it was taking up space, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna drink it. Maybe it would be better if it if it like aerates and decants. Uh it's giving off very nail polish remover uh tones, scents. What the fuck is it? Nose. I think that's that's what it is when you sniff the wine. It, it's it's giving off a nail polish remover nose. I know. What's the- you know what the wine is called? Fox in the Flock. And my mother only gave it to me because it has a fox on it. And she was like, I know you don't like reds, but this has a fucking fox on it, so you'll drink it, right? And I said yes, because it's one less bottle of booze that I have to buy for myself. Okay. Uh, what happened? I think we escaped the apartment, we went to an oculate place, had a party, and now we're at our mother's and father's house. And I don't remember what to do after that. Besides that, I, our dad is coming home and we're going to be having dinner. You know, our mom does not want that. But it's fine. Hey, Mitty. Yes, we were talking about that on uh, the Discord. It's very sad. Um, you know, I know it's a controversial game and there's controversial themes. But... I think it's well written and well done, and it's very clear that it's not portraying these things in a good light. Like, we all know these things are bad. Um, so I think it's very sad. But I'm glad that she is going to be finishing the game that she wants to make, eventually, at her own pace. But yeah, fuck people. Uh, hey Moldo, <laughs> thanks for checking in. Alright, let's read. Uh, da -da -da. Isn't it literally a horror game? It is a horror game, yes. So, it's, it's very wrong that... You know, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Horrible things are meant to happen in horror games. Um, you know, you can make the argument that it's like, oh, you're the one writing it down. But I, I think it just comes with the fascination of like, you know, the grotesque and all that nonsense. Um, yeah, no, it made me quite sad when I heard about that. But she... She's taking a break from the internet, and she is still going to make the game that she wants to. So, good. <laughs> yeah, that, that's just the best thing to do in that situation. Alright, uh, you browse the cooking book for some simple recipe. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. No, our parents fucking hate us. Don't go do whatever. I'm alright. Hey, Iggy, thanks for coming by. I'm doing alright. How are you? And Mitty, how are you as well? And Mulder, how is everyone doing? I'm gonna take a sip of my cheap wine. Nah. I don't care much for it, but it's I already opened the bottle, so I have to finish it. Except I'll probably end up dumping it if it's been open for like two weeks. It's already been open for a week and I've only had one glass. It's called the Fox and the Flock, and my mother got it for me because it has a fucking fox on it. <laughs> it right, this isn't a local wine, right? No, it's from California. It's not local wine, so I'm not concerned. Uh, what is it? It's nothing. Uh... You're struck with an odd urge to pull this bro broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. Aww. Wait, I shouldn't be going, aw, they're siblings. No, that's gross. <laughs> but you push such an idea to the to the back of your mind. I forgot that they were siblings for a second. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, no aw. No aw. Bad. Bad. You know why I'm going aw? Because I'm watching Death Note currently. <laughs> and uh, I got to the point where... I got to the episode where Elle and Light are handcuffing each other, and they're with each other 24-7. I'm like, oh, they're boyfriends. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I now I'm like, oh, I'm at everything. 
Man, I, I, I can play. I mean, depends on how expensive the game is. I'm trying to not buy games at the moment because money. <laughs> the holiday season is expensive. Yeah. Seven dollars? Oh, okay. There we go. That's fine. Seven dollars is fine. Oh, here you go, Iggy. I'll pass it via the camera. Have fun. Here you go. Cheers. Here, I'll clink it. I don't know. That probably didn't pick up. Uh, winter sale is coming soon. I know! I missed the, uh... The, uh, Steam Fall Sale. And, uh, missed Persona 5 Royale. But that's for the best, because Persona 5 Royale is still, like, $35 on Steam. So it's for the best. Uh, where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. Found a simple soup recipe. <laughs> glug, glug, glug. Guzzle, guzzle, guzzle. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, onions. Chop everything up and boil in a pot. Easy enough. Got meat. Can I... Kitchen knives. You cut the meat into chopped meat. You have nothing more to cut. Do I... What about my vegetables? <laughs> Do Okay, it's fine. I think... You don't have all the ingredients prepared. Well, where are the vegetables? Oh, do I have to go outside into the vegetable garden? I forgot that they had a vegetable garden. Oh, can we steal from mom? Your mom's purse. Got a bit of cash. Fuck yeah. It's nowhere near enough for you. It's fine. She abandoned us. She deserves to have her purse stolen. I won't apologize for my actions. Here we go. Do these two even have parents? No, they do have parents. They just abandoned them. And let them, um... Pretty much st uh, starve. Get as close to starving as uh, possible. Can I pick the potatoes? Thank you. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients while we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Mood. Come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how to go about this now that she's seen us. Uh, just murder her. You've already killed like five people. What's two more that you're directly related to? No one will notice. <laughs> Leave no witnesses. Hell yeah. Hey, work lurk, thanks for lurking at work, Vlad. Don't get in trouble for watching someone play this game. Please and thank you. <laughs> but thanks for coming on by. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please just let me think. I'll figure something out, alright? Oh, we are gonna murder them. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> He's on. Hi, thanks for checking in and thanks for coming on by. 94 flowers, that's a lot. I'm like, 30 of those are from stream crashes, though. Uh, <laughs> they still count. Stream crashes count. Uh... You get the feeling she has something more to say. But you can tell whatever it is, is going to start an argument. So you leave it be for now. Iggy Bulls, thanks for checking in! Oh my goodness, so many people! Thanks for coming by, everyone! Apparently we're all and hyped for Andy and Lele. I'm gonna take a sip of my cheap wine. Theoretically, I think we only have like three-ish hours left. So I we'll, we should be able to beat it today. So you leave it be for now. You got carrots. Uh, I think. I think there's only, like, I- Someone told me last stream we played this, which was, like, on the 11th of November, so, like, three weeks ago, that we're at the midway point of Chapter 2. So, and then hopefully Chapter 3 will come sometime next year, and it will be fun. Uh, got onions. Yay. Why does she just lock the door behind her? I want to blame her. Oh, this is the kitchen. Whoops. Alright, let's make a big stew. Oh, I have to fucking chop them first. Oh, Okay. I love sweet potatoes. And I cook them and eat them with the skin on. Is that fucking insane? My friends tell me I'm a fucking weirdo for doing that. Sweet potato skins are good. Am I fucking insane? <laughs> I also don't peel carrots either, because it's a lot of effort, and I don't think it changes the flavor of the carrots at all. But if I'm preparing carrots for guests, like as in uh uh, like for Thanksgiving, then I'll peel them because some people can taste it, I guess. But I taste no different. You just have to wash it extra well. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Welcome to my bad food take. <laughs> the sister is close enough. Yeah, no, this really is a oh 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 Oedipus oh Oedipus. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I've only ever read it. I haven't heard it. <laughs> Uh, you cut the potatoes into chopped potatoes. You cut the onions into chopped onions. You cut the carrots into chopped carrots. Just curious. Did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yeah, it's fine. Yes! I told you! There's always been two Iggy's! I'm not insane! <laughs> I'm not seeing double. Iggy, Iggy bulls. Multiple times. Uh, Iggy, Iggy with two Y's. 
uh, has been in, in chat, and I thought it was you, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> it wasn't until, like, the, the second or third stream that Iggy with two Ys came by that I was like, oh shit, that's not Iggy Balls! I just assumed you changed your name. <laughs> there eventually so i would always talk to iggy like they they were my old friend because i thought it was you that that they were my college buddy and like reminisce and iggy would be like i don't know what the fuck you're talking about right now. <laughs> been at least once uh yes why i hope you washed it first i kept it clean obviously anyway that should be all the ingredients <laughs> you throw the ingredients in the pot and wait Oh, actually, so is not happy. All right, you can't take this anymore. Actually, I can tell something is up. Yeah, you're with your parents that fucking abandoned you and left you to fucking starve. <laughs> See, that scares me. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm not so sure. There might only be one Iggy. I'm being gaslit. It's fine. If I am, it, it would be funny. Uh, actually, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree. No. I will absolutely not promise that. I know how you operate. You're gonna think of that court. That's true. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> I believe again. That is two separate people. Le Ashley would like, she's gonna be like, let's murder them and then set the house on fire and would make us agree to that before she says anything. That's, that's my prediction. Let's murder our parents and then set their house on fire. Uh, I will absolutely not promise that. Okay then, never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? Oh, you're gonna be such a bitch about it. I really want you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. You have to kill mom and dad. Okay, 50% there, but that part was obvious. <sighs> no, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really? Or are you just saying that? Oh yeah, I forgot. We have a little uh, demon buddy that is like helping us out. Or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all times. Well, I mean, it's a convenient time. Let's talk about murdering our mom while she's in the house instead of before she's in the house. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. Oh, okay, maybe. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? Hi, Mom! Hi, Dad! Hey, kids. It's good to see you. Yeah, he seems thrilled. Says dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. <laughs> Rip. One extremely tiresome dinner later. Whew, that was a riveting conversation. Are we? <laughs> Is Lele sitting on a fucking stepladder? Yeah, no. We were casually talking about murdering the neighbor next door. <laughs> Not you, don't worry. Everything's fine. Whew, that was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry, kids. I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? Oh, fuck. oh fucking wow. She has not seen me in five to six months. And she's like, do the fucking dishes, you lazy sacks of shit. I hate her. Also, she looks like a little bug. Like, doesn't, doesn't her, her spare hair make look like antennas? She looks like a little bug. We should squish her under our heel. She leaves without warning, waiting for an answer. Picked up dishes. Picked up dishes. It can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing? <laughs> All the above. Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. She looks, no, and she kind of just looks exhausted. Like she she works uh ten hour days and it has been for two weeks, and work keeps promising her that she'll get a break soon, and it never comes. I'm gonna take a sip. Ah. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar, and if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime su suspects? But you're dead. Well, surely not their two dead kids. Yeah, exactly. Everyone thinks you're dead. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly we're not only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. Oh, totally, there's someone out there who's alive, but do they care enough to look into it? That's my question, because so far no one has 
looked into it enough to oops sorry my alarm to go live just went off uh <laughs> so far it seems like nobody has looked or cared enough into them to do anything about it which is why i'm like i think they could get away with murder <laughs> murdering their parents A little bit iggy it's cool though everything's fine uh we're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us time to go live hey guys <laughs> we're live you're free from league excellent quit it forever is that worth it iggy <laughs> be free from the shackles of league uh and what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway i should yeah that's okay i bought pokemon cards today so, we're, we're, we're both addicted <laughs> to different things. Uh, seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier. There'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I would love to get a, do another hand cam stream of me opening more Pokemon cards. But, like, a, a booster box of Pokemon cards is like a hundred bucks. And I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. That's a lot of money to spend for fucking cardboard. <laughs> I just so I just buy singles. Uh, she's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What? You're all about being so careful. Yes. Uh, but when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. I, mm, I kind of see it both ways. I kind of see it like the parents will snitch that their kids are still alive. But I also see it like the parents don't give enough of, of a shit and hope that they will just go away and they just won't mention it. I can- I- 50-50. Uh, hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play Happy Family some more? I bet you like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know, I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. It'd definitely be sus, though, if they die, though. Yeah, exactly! I think I'm team just kind of run away and pretend you were never here and never contact your parents again. That- That's my thinking. And just steal from strangers. And so is she. Well, to me, it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Okay. Listen, I chose you, didn't I? I, ch I chose you. So if anyone's playing Happy Family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Oh my god, she's such a bitchy girlfriend. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't, but that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with Mommy and Daddy and be a good little murder boy? <laughs> good little murder boy? <laughs> Oh, she makes me so fucking mad. Because she's the reason all the murders fucking happened. The cannibalism one, I can kind of get behind. They were starving. They didn't have much of a fucking choice. It is what it is. <laughs> and, like, killing all the guards, I also kind of get that. You have to get out somehow. The lady didn't need to die. That was kind of on Andy. <laughs> that that was on Andy. That one, yeah. And then, did they kill the stalker? I forget if they killed the stalker or not. She's... <laughs> Yeah, it's like girl boss gatekeep. No, she's totally gatekeeping. She's gatekeeping Andy for my happy life. <laughs> oh, brain, brain hook. Thanks for coming on by. <laughs> she, <laughs> this, is, this is not the kind of girl boss behavior behavior we should be encouraging. <laughs> or maybe we should. Maybe we want every girl to be like this. <laughs> All crazy. And we want every girl to be crazy and we don't want to fix her. <laughs> it's a lot of effort. Uh, if you don't like- oh, oop, I read that already. Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly, clearly you don't even like me. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't. <laughs> You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. They're about to fucking hit each other. Because Andrew is all you'll get. No, she'll definitely manipulate him into getting Andy to come out again. Uh, now isn't the time for this anyway. <laughs> it's okay, it's a common trope, Iggy. <laughs> I won't judge you. 
Uh, I mean, I have- I suffer from Kechigoro brain rot, so, like, I'm not any fucking better. <laughs> Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the, and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charge, we at least have the means to stay safe. I- I get that, but if we leave quietly, there'd be no need for anyone to look for us. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. Um. <laughs> What are you two whispering about? N nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you could go stay with. Oh my god! Just stab her. I hate her. I'm fucking- I'm with Ashley. I hate her. <laughs> Just stab her. <laughs> and end the strange bug bomb. <laughs> oh. There's enough space in this house. Ah, that's a- you have a fucking bedroom downstairs, I'm pretty sure. Despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your 20s. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. Uh-huh! Yeah, sure! Says the woman who wanted us to fucking starve. <laughs> green eyes, not yellow. They kind of look yellowy. They're, they're like, yellow with a greenish tint. Uh... And uh, her text is yellow. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. She's gonna murder us in her sleep. But if you need to start looking for somewhere- Also, hi, Sticks. Thanks for coming on by. Uh, but you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. Mm? Mm. Mm, mom, mom doesn't like us being together either. I don't like it either. <laughs> Uh, that's a tall order after all our earthly possessions just burned to the ground. Talk about looking for somewhere else to live. That's a good point, Iggy. That's a very good point. She might not be trying to murder us. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. Alright, good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You're under my roof right now, and you will go to your designating sleeping areas immediately. Uh... Sleep now, or get out at once. Oh, now I just um, I just immediately assume Roll Tide Incest. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, exactly, too, uh, exactly, Styx. I just- I just immediately assumed. <laughs> mom knew that like Lele was fucked up. Well, I think she does know, but uh, not that Andy is complicit in it in some Yeah, exactly, brain hook. Find an apartment in one day. We were staying in a motel though. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry, Iggy. This is tough. It's tough with two Iggy's. I apologize. Sleep now or get out at once. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Ooh, are we in hell now? Well, we are- is Andy in hell now? Fuck yeah. Oh, good, there's blood on our hands. Or feet, whatever. The freezer isn't full of human meat. Oh, good, I'm glad. Excellent to hear that. Greetings, neighbor! Hello, cultist. You tasted delicious earlier. Uh, hast thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar? Where Ash and Andy killed a girl? Did- Did they kill a girl? Yes! Yes, they did kill a girl when they were children in the chest. That's right. Uh, hast thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar? Behold, as thou may witness, naught but flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. It's fine. You read too much poetry. Aw, uh, Andrew... Andrew does seem like the type to, like, read poetry. <laughs> like, read edgy kid poetry at 24 years old. Is he 22 or 24? I forget. Uh, be alert, young M Mr. Graves. T Tis time for you to compartmentalize. Andy is 22, thank you. So Lele is 20. 
what ails thee? Can I? This is fear lack. Oh, okay. Ah, here we go. Finger, got a limb, lovely. I see, it's a puzzle. Okay. Give me a minute. <laughs> there we go, thank you. Got a limb, excellent. A frying pan? The pan is empty. All right, Ashley already cooked one. Oh, okay. The candle holder is empty. I do like these dream sequences. They're... <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. It's missing candles. Uh, hi. You doing okay, little lady? What are you doing here? I, I, oh. It's little, it's little Ashley. Actually, no, don't answer. I don't care. By the way, there's gonna be an ad break starting in about five minutes, so we'll take a short break then, but we will play the game until then. Actually, no, don't answer. I don't care. Uh, get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Oh, she's coming with us. I mean, nightmares can be hellish. Stop following me, you little shit. Just push her into the void. Just, just, just shove. Just a little shove. <laughs> oh god, I hate her. I hate her so much. The door has no, no handle, nor will it budge. Okay, what about going down here? Where the candlesticks? Oh, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. That's fair. Yeah, his hand, dream logic, his hand would probably just like face through her or something. That makes sense. Uh, great, hand them over. She's not going to. Ha, no way. She's a little shit. <laughs> you should sure grab Lele by her stupid little neck to give it a good ring. <laughs> what the hell? But the little shit evades you. Uh, what was that, you psycho jerk? I hate you. <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> well, I mean, we all fucking hate her. We're doing the world a service by eliminating her. Uh, whatever. It's just a dream anyway. Oh, sorry. Uh, do do do. I have to allow that. <laughs> For some reason, Automod did not permit kill this bitch. Isn't that wild? <laughs> but the say so phrase. Uh, whatever. It's just a dream anyway. Most people would still be horrified to kill a child. I don't give a shit about you. But I guess you're used to it, huh? Yeah, well, in most people's lucid dreams, they can fly and whatnot. Yeah, I'm stuck with crap like this. Serves you right, jackass. Mm hmm. There's nothing to light. Well, will you give me the candle? Oh, let me get that. Lily places a candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. You used your lighter to light the candle. Ah, being a smoker finally comes in handy. Ooh. Oh, it looks fun in there. Oh, this looks cute. I would like a bedroom like this. As a kid. Can I? No. Best girl? Are you implying that Ashley is not the best girl? Or mom? Oh. I swear I tried there already. Weird. Uh, Ashley is F dear. Ashley is the dichotomy of the humanity right there. So what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring. I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. She can still get it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the thing. Ashley's hot. <laughs> like it fucking sucks, but she's hot. <laughs> we can we can we can hate someone and still acknowledge that they're hot. Okay? Uh, I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave the spot. Adult Ashley. Kid Ashley, we can punt her into the fucking void. I don't give a shit about her. I hate her even more because she's a child. <laughs> uh, I can't draw without my coloring pencils. Ugh. Well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I'll get your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. White noise. Even in your dreams, that entertainment sucks. Fair enough. Oh! Da, da, da. We get more secrets. Hello? Are you gonna... Hello? Alright, I'll try going up here. 
Ah, there we go. Hello. Um, got some color pencils. Well, I may as well talk to you. Julia. Ooh, you've been quiet all day. What's up? The best girl in the world. Oh, she's cute. She's very cute. Uh, you know what? Mm. I am going to throw up BRB now, and then we will do this scene after the ad break. She <laughs> no, she's very cute. I like her freckles. Uh, actually, you know what? Nah, we'll start the scene, because usually when, even if it says ad starts in 20 seconds, it still is, like, gonna be a minute, so we'll, we'll do a little bit. Uh, no, it's, it's nothing. Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. She's so fucking cute. But I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much build-up, you kind of have to now. <laughs> well, well, okay, but please don't get mad. Whenever I ever once even raise my voice with her. You know you can tell me anything. I, uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, Schweig. Thanks for knocking. Come on in. Water's fine. <laughs> You're actually... Uh, there's actually about to be an ad break, like, any second. And I'm gonna throw up BRB. Um... No, I won't. Wow! Fucking rude. You knock and you're not gonna come in? I'm offended. Uh... Oh, God. I don't know when ad break's gonna... It, it said it was coming, and now it's not coming. And I don't know what to do. It's okay, I got lurk. Anyways, well, thanks for coming in, and thanks for the jump scare. <laughs> Have a good lurk. Alright, I'm gonna throw up, uh, BRB. Have a good stream, or else. We're playing Andy and Lele. It might not be possible. Actually, no, I quite enjoy this game. Uh, there we go, ad break. Alright. Burp. I'm just gonna drink wine. Hang out with the sub people. Not that we do anything during breaks besides shoot the shit. But you know it's fine. This is a this is cute music. I agree. Yeah, I'm gonna take a sip of my shitty wine. <laughs> yeah, talk about all the non subs during the BRB screen. <laughs> no, it, it, there's no difference. There's no difference between being subbed and unsubbed. You get all the. You get all the all the same things you can even if you have a fucking what's it called uh one of the twitch tv extensions i forget which one um you can even use all my emotes like i don't give a shit uh it does help the channel you know i put all the money from subs back into it but it's uh yeah no pressure no pressure at all yeah sure you could share a joke except you can't hear this because you're in an ad break but that's fine done excellent Who's there? Oh, I got Kinder Egg yesterday because I am regressing to childhood because I can. <laughs> and uh, I was very disappointed in it because it's it's like this cute little thing, and you add it's like a, a little friend that you you stick to the wall. And it's just a little dude, but now it's like coming with QR codes. And they're trying to make you, like, download a fucking app for it. It's like, no. I, w I just want a toy. I don't... I, I just want a physical, tactile toy. I don't want this bullshit where, you know... Uh... Fucking... Oh, let me close Discord. Someone's pinging me. Boop. I don't want this bullshit where... I have to download a fucking app. I just want the toy. G give me the entire thing in the egg like you used to, you cowards. Oh, God damn it. Uh, oh, no, I don't really... I don't like checking Discord while live. Toys these days suck. Yeah, exactly. All right, so that tells me that there's not actually an ad break going. <laughs> what the fuck? Why does Twitch lie to me? I don't give a shit. I just want a little figure. No, that's fair. Uh, clearly, I don't know how Twitch ads work. I thought I, I knew how they work. Because the, Twitch told me specifically, oh, if you run three minutes of ads then you won't have pre-rolls and you'll also decide when they happen once an hour it was just real short really okay well that's good i'm happy that it's short that's how it should be okay so maybe there are pre-rolls i don't fucking know i'm sorry i'm sorry that we took a break for no concernable reason uh i'll figure that out eventually but no i i agree i love kinder eggs and the toys just suck i used to i'm russian that would probably do it yes um 
that's fine. Or if you have an ad block, I don't care if you use an ad block. Uh, but no, I like I I miss when the toys were like very very, like, like like a ball. Like like there was this cool ball with like connect pieces that you could make. Or like animal figurines and the animal the head would move up and down. Like those things. I miss those things. Yeah, I don't want a fucking app for my Kinder Egg. Anyways, back to the game. Ad break over. Uh, and she agrees with me in that maybe it's. Oops, sorry, I have to click back into the game. Yeah. Like, maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence. Even if it's just for her own sake, you know? And maybe for our sake, too. Oh, she's trying so hard to be nice to say stop fucking being codependent with your sister. Stop roll tiding your sister. I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often. And not, like, always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything, though. N no, but you could, like, you know, not always go when she asks. If your sister needs something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back when. Ashley might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot, too. Uh, it's the girl that called Andrew at night while Ashley was sleeping. I see! Interesting. Is this his ex-girlfriend that broke up with him because he hadn't seen her in, like, five months? Uh, because she's too good for him. <laughs> yes, okay, good. Uh, so that's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? She's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that? N nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. Aww! See, this is an appropriate instant to go, aww! That is, that's cute! That's cute. I like how the shirt tag is always, um, flicking up. I don't know why. It's a, it's it's a it's a weird detail that I appreciate. Uh, so I can't let either of you out of my sight. <laughs> I'm fine if you're with me. Would you tie your hair up for me? Oh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh heck no. You'll pull on it again. Ah, <laughs> uh, but you're, don't you know it's how boys show their love? Well, that's just awful. <laughs> I suppose she still lingers. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> I hated that. Yes, I will check the phone, uh, Sticks. It hasn't been that long. I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. Uh, where's the phone? Oh, there it is. You have 127 new voicemails. Oh, hell no. You are not listening to all that. Look, I don't know what your fucking problem is. The audio has been distorted. But... But you'd recognize that voice anywhere. There's floating eyes? Where are the floating eyes? Are you talking about me? I don't see any floating eyes. Uh, the audio has been distorted, but you recognize that voice anywhere. Under the textbook? Okay, I will look in a second. Also, how about the unknown... Roach... The unknown roach. That's what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> Took me a fucking minute. Thanks for coming by. I was called earlier in this chapter. Was there a roach earlier in this chapter? I I'm, I hope we didn't squish you. If we squished you, I sincerely uh, uh, apologize. The audio has been distorted, but you recognize that voice anywhere. No, Lord Unknown. Oh, I see. Oh. Well, hello, Lord Unknown. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Uh, you're, you're very shitty at summoning demons, I'm sorry to say. Hopefully you'll get better over the course of the chapter. <laughs> I told you to fuck off. I warned you. Do you think you're all that? Do you think you're somehow special? You're just another hole, and you're not even the only one. He's got a slew of floozies just like you. Enjoy what you have, because you're well on your way out by now. Nice. The only reason he's with you is because he feels sorry for you. You're just some ugly cunt with a dead best friend. Ooh! Ouch! 
the cultists are shitty at summoning me. That's right, Lord Unknown. Okay, I'm sorry. I was, I was um confusing Lord Unknown. It's been like three weeks since we last played this game. Uh, I was confusing Lord Unknown with the guy who leads the cult. You're right. She is. She is scathing. She's so mad. I hate her. I hate her so much. I apologize, Lord Unknown, for uh, forgetting which character you were. <laughs> You're an excellent demon. Hurry up and kill yourself. And when you get to hell, ask your friend what happened to her. No. Uh. <laughs> I bet you'd be <laughs> I, you'd be so surprised. Fucking die, you worthless piece of shit slut. Go slit your wrist some more. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, and this time do it proper. Oh my god, I hate her. I don't want to peek the audio with this, so I'm gonna, I am gonna boop this down a little bit because I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna boop this down a little bit. Yeah, no, fuck Ashley. All right. Do you think it's better than me? No, I totally peaked. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I gotta, I gotta. Do you think it's better than me? Gotta click back into the game. Just because you can fuck him and I can't. No, it's totally, it's, it's totally peaking. All right. Whoops. You <laughs> mute. You to, I would never tell you to do that, Mew. Thanks for coming out by, though. Good to see you. Yeah, no. We listen. We've always been full send incest in this game. <laughs> Hashtag fuck Ashley. This <laughs> this game is not for the faint of heart. Just because you can fuck him and I can't. You think that's love? Are you fucking delusional? Come dumpsters like you are just that. He will never love you. <laughs> it's the game. <laughs> oh, Mew. We're just having a great time. Our sister, uh, is trying to fuck us and made our girlfriend break up with us. But it's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Discord told me to play this game. And I, I bought it. And then they were like, wait, you actually fucking bought it? And I was like, yeah, because it seems awful. And it's actually very well, uh, it is very well written, but it's fucked up. Uh, but, uh, you know what? I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it horror, horror is meant to. Oh, yes, we, we were discussing that earlier, Sticks. Uh, it's very sad. I don't really want to go into it out of respect for the dev. Uh, but, you know. It's messed up what happened. People should be able to write what they want to write to an extent. And when you're writing for the horror genre, you have to expect fucked up genres. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Muke. <laughs> Exactly. Come downstairs like you are just that. He will never love you. Not like he loves me. I am the only one. I am everything. I am the secrets you'll never hear. When he lies in bed at night and when he needs someone to hold on to, it's not you he seeks out. It is me. That's enough of that. Oh, we're not gonna keep listening? You'll never see her again. And the fact that it doesn't really bother you, bothers you. Uh, what do you hope to find in there, pervert? It's your ex-lover's dormitory room. Oh, hello. The trash is full of letters. Mostly death threats. Hi. Someone stares inside the room with an unblinking gaze. Can I go in there? Huh? A collection of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish. You're pretty sure you won't be up there anymore. Rip. Alright, I guess we can't see her. Rip. I'm guessing that's the dead best friend. Hey, I stole some colored pencils from my girlfriend that you scared off because you called her a cum, dust cum dumpster cunt. <laughs> yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad I ideas. Hmm, good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully. As if it were me. I'll fucking split it in half. I'm lighting it on fire. That too. No, lighting it on fire, it'll take too long. Just like crush it. <laughs> It will go faster. <laughs> Not cool. That's flames for you. <laughs> Boo, you suck. Got a candle. Oh, Ashley. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. I feel so bad for Muke. Muke did not know what the fuck he was walking into in this stream. Muke's a very cool guy. We met via Hollow Knight. Uh, place him with the candle. Ooh, this is a fun room. It's a bird cage. Oh, is this symbolic for being caged? For fuck it. Found Ashley in the closet. Lovely. There you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. It's in your stomach, right? In mine. Are you going to cut me up 
to get it. I'd rather not. What do you need it for, anyway? But yes, we're all very proud of Ashley. She's coming out of the... Uh, never mind. There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. Oh, yeah. I'm just uh, going to get before you got you. It worries you. Someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. So, you coming out of there? You're supposed to ask Lele to come out to play. I am slightly confused. This is chapter two of a two-chapter game, and we're three out of six hours into chapter two. So, it's like... I understand why why you're confused. To give you the rundown, we've been locked in a we've been quarantined with our sister in an apartment for five months, and the people who were supposed to be taking care of us stopped giving us food and stopped communicating with us. So then our next door neighbor was a cultist, and uh, he died via summoning a demon. So we went over to his apartment and took him and brought him back to our apartment and butchered him and ate him as you do and then we summoned a demon with our sister who wants to fuck us it's not even like implied at this point it's definite for real we summoned a demon with her and then killed all the guards in the quarantine place and escaped and we've been kind of running around in the area and we just reconnected with our parents our parents want fucking nothing to do with us and are kicking us out of the house and now we're in andy andrew's uh, dream sequence and also we killed a child when we were a child <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that sound good? Uh, uh, Ashley's in the closet. Is she jealous of Julia over Andrew or jealous of Andrew over Julia? I have no fucking idea. I, I don't know. Uh, you're supposed to ask Lele to come out and play. I'm not as- I'm asking for Ashley. Then I'm not coming. Suit yourself. Boop. Uh, you could- can I summon her still? No. But yeah, we've killed like seven people. It's fine. Uh, got a severed limb. Well met, young graves. Hello. The possessus, the absent limb. I think he's just doing this for dramatic effect. I don't think he actually talks like this. Yet, it doth not belong to me. Or maybe it's from all the edgy poetry that Andrew read. Uh, perchance, tis of little consequence to thee. Can I go get the thing now? There we go, thank you. Got a limb. Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust. Perchance it may cook, but to burn, I know it not. Verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave thine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some souls sought to protect themselves and kill the flame, which engulfed all. Da -da -da. Yeah, right? I fucking need a translation. Hi, do I go back into the meat closet? Place all severed limbs in the freezer. The meat closet, as opposed to a fucking freezer? I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, this reminds you of something. Uh, sticks. I, I know you're excited about the game, but don't mention things until they're actively on screen. Um, I- oh, maybe I put spoilers okay. Let me put no spoilers in the- There we go. Okay. Uh-oh! It's his demon coming to haunt him! You have to open it! Nice. Rise and shine, Nina. <laughs> Did you have fun? I have a fun night. I sure hope you learned your lesson. There is no answer. Huh, guess she's still sleeping. Lele kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, don't. You opened the crate. Oh. Oops. Wait, wait, what? Why is she dead? How did. What? That can't be right. What's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you died just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Oh my god, fuck you, Ashley. Shut up, just shut up. I forget this, let's just leave her here. Bit of an oopsie whoopsie, bit of a fucky wucky, bit of an oopsie whoopsie whoopsie. surprise it didn't have breathing holes the chick could have had asthma 
Like, if they're, like, what, six and eight? <laughs> like, come on. It's fine, whatever. It's not fine. Uh, since she took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. Did she say she was having trouble breathing? Yes, yeah, she did, as we were walking away, because we're two cruel fucking children. Uh, she did have asthma? Okay, yeah. N no, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingernail split if she was in- if she was there willingly? Oh well. It's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. No, she'll- it'll start rotting. And- and someone will come looking and find her. I mean, her family's already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So what do we do then? Um, I... Fuck. Oh my god, he's like eight. Let's just hide it then. Uh, huh? If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lele. They'll find the body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too. It's fine if it's the both of us. <laughs> oh, OG out. Thank, thank you. Uh, let me get... <laughs> there we go. I don't know. OG outfit, OG outfit. Uh, no, no, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? This is harsh language for an eight year old. I'm gonna guess he's like more 12 and 10. Uh, guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're going to take you away from me. How was I supposed to know that? You figure something out then, since you're so smart. Oh, okay. Let's just, uh, like, move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig a gr up a grave for her. Oh, yeah, that won't be fucking suspicious with fucking fresh dirt on the ground. He's like 12. Uh, Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Y yeah, there is probably fine. Pris share prison cell? Yeah. <laughs> Casual prison shell cell sharing with your girlfriend, sister. No issues. None at all. It's fine. Demon summoning? Probably soon, I would imagine. We gotta recharge the talisman thing. Uh, but first, we need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carry her there. I, I mean, just kind of leave the body at this point. If you're not gonna... If you're not gonna, like... Come forward, just leave it. I don't think anyone saw them walk in there. This will have to do. Uh, got tarp. Thank you. You wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. Can these kids dig a six-foot hole? Uh, I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks work, too. No, they don't. I mean, they're kind of shovely. Just watch for splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy-to-dig spot. Uh. Uh. That's a bad take. <laughs> Got wooden plank. A corpse is wrapped inside the top. Oh, I thought it was a fucking rock. Uh, m maybe here. There doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Isn't this deep enough already? The grave should be six feet, right? Forget it. She fits here just fine. I okay, fine. There you go. You and Lele push the body into its grave. Time to bury it. Oh yeah. No, this is fine. No one can tell that's been overturned and that there's a body about like half a foot under. <laughs> it's fine. Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No, there can't be this. This obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden, too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and such? It? Yeah, they really did. Got foliage. I'll put a rock over it. That'll be fine. Just like a nice rock. Some more foliage is needed. Oh. Okay. Got foliage. Okay. There we go. And look, it's like a... It's like a fun little... Fun little crafting session. When in doubt, craft. Some more foliage. Oh. Where? Where do I find it? Hello? Here we go. Thank you. Foliage. There we go. Oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something in here to hold them in place. Just grab a fucking rock. No one, no one will find it. Got stone. Nice. Makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I was going to do it. I was just saying. What is it now? What is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if, a, what if a police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened. Because you can't remember it anymore. 
Oh. Let's forget all about it. Oh, Lele, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You say one thing and do another. Promise me that this time you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. Okay, good. Mm. There, there. It'll be fine. I fucking hate you. Do not try to console me when this was your entire idea and fault. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone about what you did. Uh. Who's going to play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. Thanks. What a good sister. What a kind sister. I can't read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I am your best friend from now on. Yari Wurlele. Yeah, really? Like, ten years old, she already... Uh, was fucking ready to manipulate. Girl boss gaslight gatekeep! <laughs> Don't lie to me. I'm not, I think. Whatever, it's you and me now. No one else will like you. Because you're bad. I'm gonna take a sip of wine. Cheers. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyways. That's true. That's true. We all fucking hate you. <laughs> but that's fine. Because you'll be around now. God, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me. Uh, Andy, I know. But that doesn't matter anymore. Because from now on, no one will like you either. So let's be friends, okay? Be my friend. Or else. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature. None of which were pleasant. Oh, thank you for following the unknown roach. Very much appreciate it. Thanks so much for the support. Uh, none of which were pleasant. Oh my god, just fucking slap her. I don't care that she's a kid. Just punt her. Get her out of here. Get her out of the game. Uh... But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth because you're a doormat, Andy. <laughs> Grow a fucking spine. Uh, several days went by without a hitch. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Blackmail me, Ashley. <laughs> Why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. Okay, that I agree with. I hate the strawberry chunks in strawberry ice cream. Just give me straight strawberry. I, I don't want these fucking weird chunks. I hate them. I wish there was no jam. I wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you anything about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. And, and, did you say anything? Nope. I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. <laughs> so I like, like fudge chunks or cookie dough chunks but if there's like a fruity chunk in ice cream to me that's like bad I don't like it, it yeah no brownie chunks are good I have a triple fudge ice cream downstairs the Hagen dazs one and it's very good and I also have Hagen dazs uh, cookies and cream because I'm a bougie bitch actually no uh, the triple fudge is for my boyfriend and the cookies and cream is for me but if I take a bite he doesn't care Ooh. <laughs> very exciting I know I'm the one who bought it so he shouldn't care if I take a bite or two I'm gonna take a sip of wine um, I don't care if he eats the cookies and cream either. But yeah, like cookie or brownie chunks or chocolate chips. Those are all based. Just don't give me like a jammy, fruity bit in my ice cream. I, I don't like that. Uh, why? I will, I am a Neapolitan stan though. Like I will get all three flavors in Neapolitan and eat that shit every day. Ooh, that does sound good. Caramel, caramel chunks for salted caramel ice cream. Uh, I, what's my favorite ice cream? Probably cookies and cream, which is really boring, but that's just what I like. <laughs> or or just a, a chocolate custard. You know, if I have to pick between ice cream and custard, I'm always going for a chocolate custard. But if I have to pick strictly an ice cream flavor and there's no custard around, I'm going cookies and cream. I think that's my take. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming to, to my ice cream talk. Uh, you know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was going to come see you instead. 
Wait, is this a drinking stream? It can't be. I have wine. I, did, did, I, it's, it's, I drink whenever I feel like it. Or whenever someone redeems dehydrate, then I'll take a sip of cheap red wine. And the, the red wine I am drinking is a 2017 Red Wine California. What is it? Is it a Cabernet? Ca Cabernet? Uh, a bright red California red wine that... Oh, it's just a blend. It's not- it doesn't even say what kind it is. That's how you know it's fucking cheap. <laughs> because it doesn't even say what kind of fucking blend it is. It's called the Fox and the Flock, and I think it was like... Seven dollars. Can I take a sip? Sure. Cheers. And my mother only got it for me because it has foxes on here. What's it? Yeah, they don't even know. They don't even list the fucking grapes, but it's... 14.5 alcohol percentage, so it's fine. It's from Napa, California, though. It can't be that bad. I just wish it said. I like it a lot more now that it's room temperature because, you know, red wine should be served at room temperature while white should be chilled. Uh, well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. You prom your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream. Yeah, I'm a jackass. Ah, oh, wait. I see how it is. You're still pining for that bitch. Rip. Here we fucking go again. She's dead. Yet you're still all about her, aren't you? Was Layla abused? Was that, was actually abused? This is not like the behavior of a normal child. Or is she just naturally fucked up? Don't tell me the answer to that. I don't want to know. I'm just theorizing. Uh, it is never good enough. Was Snake. I bet she died on purpose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Uh, I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? I'm getting a good knife. Oh, God. We're back at the... Fucking... Walk to the table and interact with the milk. Okay. Aw, she's cute. Check balcony. Okay. Uh... Hi, Dad. Hello, son. Hi, Dad. We're just chilling, vibing, having a good time. Bye, Dad. Oh, no, no. I'm not jumping. <laughs> I also forgot that the family actually lived in the apartment with... <laughs> she died on purpose. Yeah, that's pretty fucking dark, isn't it? Uh, huh? Right. It's just a job. I can always find another. Your mother said I was too good for that one anyway. I... Wait, you got fired? Well, life goes on, I guess. Precious, precious life. We're all important, Anders. It's Andrew. Ugh. I'll go see what they've got for me at the unemployment office. <laughs> Mira, Mira! Thanks for checking on in. Thanks for coming by, my favorite uh, sea slug. Oh my god, Brain Hook. You cannot mention those fucking names. You cannot mention those fucking names in this chat. That makes me just want to... Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna vomit. Oh my god, I was just brought back to, like, fucking 14 years old. <laughs> no, I don't want to think about 14-year-old kid. No, I have a job and a mortgage now. I can't think about her. She doesn't exist. She can't hurt you anymore. Oh, brain hook. That was fun. some fucking emotional damage right there. Hey, <laughs> Mira. Mira, Mira, how was your stream? What were you doing, Splatoon? Thanks for coming on by. Yo, yo, yo. Are you a cool kid? Are you gonna drop some gangster rap? Uh, anyways, uh, dad isn't gonna kill himself. That's good. Uh, I'll go see what they got for me at the unemployment office. Great talk, son. There we go. Sploonies in Minecraft. Very nice. <laughs> I never finished. I'm not, I don't even want to say it because I hate that. I hate it so much. I never finished it because I hate the guy who, the person who made it. I should say person, not guy anymore. Uh, someone's being interviewed on, on TV. Your success story is such an inspiration to us all. Before starting your soda company, you used to be a surgeon. Isn't that right? That's right, Mark. I am actually a doctor. So trust me, one can of toxic soda a day keeps me far, far away. <laughs> when even a doctor tells me to indulge, how can I not? <laughs> Surely it's only up from here. What plans do you have for the future? Is this lore? Is this lore about how we all got fucking locked away? Well, first of all, with such a great demand comes a great need for water, which is why I partnered up with several water distribution companies. I hope this is the start of a long-lasting friendship where... LTG? Linus... Linus... 
group, uh, the people on the TV when I'm blonde and on, they're relieved there's absolutely nothing about any dead girls being found. They totally fucked with the water. Uh, I need a knife. Pick up a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. Uh, got a kitchen knife. Yes, all par parasites are fake and made up, not real. Alright, uh, are we gonna go stab Ashley? Cause let's fucking go. What are you doing with that knife? Believe really you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm gonna make a blood oath with you. Oh, okay, not what I was expecting. But in return, you'll have to promise me something too. Okay. Uh. Yeah, the cultist neighbor probably is here. He's been culty this entire time. What a what a cool guy. He's just following his passions and his dreams. It's fine. Keep my secret, and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Guess. Haha, <laughs> don't bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you've ruined my life anyway, what reasons is there for me to keep up appearances? Oh, thank you for the stretch. I've actually been sitting crisscross applesauce, which is bad for my knee. Because I'm an older I'm an elderly lady, and when it rains outside, my fucking knee and joints hurt. <laughs> Because I'm elderly. I'm not even 30, and yet I already have fucking joint pain. So thank you for the stretch, I do appreciate it. I, I forget if people don't redeem it. <laughs> uh, if you'll ruin my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't, if you won't. I'm not buying that. Lele, you're a miserable, loathsome being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy sore spot just for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. A gently, you asshole. How does one cut someone gently? Just a little. Just a little. A little boop. A little boop with the knife. A better man would know. Whatever. And thus, she forever keeps her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm? Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. Does she have fangs? Oh no, that's just her mouth open. <laughs> you really thought that her mouth was closed and she had fangs. And that she just suddenly grew them after the blood oath. You can kind of fucking see it, right? A little bit. I would like that. Give her little devil horns as well. It, it suits the character. Uh, I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Uh, ah, wait, no. I want a do-over. Too late. A promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair. Aw, oh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority. Just not the only. It's not enough. Why can't you just kill our parents? Cut. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Hold on. That's not what she said back then. Do it for your cute little sister. I know you want to. Kill them to solve all your problems. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't. We did know it was coming. No, the the, the music drop was very good right there. I agree. I, I like the whoop in in the song as well. I don't know how else to describe it besides whoop. Uh, kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Kill your family. Kill your family. Kill your family. There, uh, that online group of friends, I would spend hours with them on Skype. This was before Discord was ubiquitous. This was on fucking Skype. Uh, I would spend hours with them, and my one friend, Cypix, would always fall asleep um during the calls and, and we would we would go on, on youtube and screen share and play a song that just went kill your family kill your family kill your family on like a 10 hour loop because we thought it was really fucking funny they never killed their family <laughs> you'll be happy to know they they were safe uh did mom ever actually talk directly to Ashley? That I am not sure about. I remember Skype. Yeah, we're fucking old, Eggy. Uh, I am not sure if mom ever talked directly to uh, Ashley. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm, so, I'm not worth wasting your fucking data over. I'm so sorry. Uh, look who's awake. Good morning. It's probably like 3 a.m. 
Or night. It's still nighttime. What do you want, you little creep? No. To offer mom and dad to the demon. Right now? Right now. While they're asleep. We'll set the ritual up and do it. I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. Uh, so now we're doing it my way. Okay. Wow, he gave in very fast. Oh my, my efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. Uh... Okay, Sticks, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good evening. Yeah, sharing idea. To theory, theory sharing is totally cool because God knows I fucking shout my theories all the time, no matter what game we're playing. The only thing is if someone like knows what's actually going to happen in the game, I don't want them saying anything. Um, I, I don't want them like giving away what's going to happen in the scene. But theory share, go for it. Uh, welcome back, Andy. That's not it. But you have a point that mom might snitch on us. Uh, yes, yeah, she is, because she's a manipulative little bitch. Uh, I knew that even before we got out of our apartment. I don't know why I let myself think anything else after talking to her. I think the dream fucked him up. I don't like how close she is. I don't like how close she is. Uh, it's because at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, I don't like how close she is. I don't like how close she is. Uh, if it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up already. Chomp. <laughs> I feel like we've gotten the most use out of the fucking tongue animation for my VTuber model than any other game. <laughs> uh, it was meant to just be like a fun thing for, you know, like, like childlike. The model is incredibly expressive. Yes, Liz does an excellent job showing my fucking disgust whenever it happens. That's why I went with Liz. I I love the emotions. Uh, you really don't like Ashley? No, she's fucking awful. Oh, that's fun. That's a fun theory. Interesting. So you're you're going with the Ashley is a dream. Ashley is is a is a sleep paralysis demon of Andrew. I can see that. We have to see if she interacts with other people though. Chump. Fuck, what is it? What's the thing that the furries do? She she tackle clawed him. <laughs> That's what the furry do does. <laughs> That's what the furries do. She tackle clawed <laughs> Can't say these things seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry if there's any sorry if there's any furries in chat. I didn't mean to. Oh, my my right ear randomly lost hearing. Give me a second. My right ear like likes to randomly lose hearing, and I don't realize that it's happening until it's happening. I just need like 30 seconds. It's ringing, but it's back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> uh, what are you doing? A demonstration. God, you're so fucking dumb. I should. Andrew, are you still awake? I yeah, why are you still up? I thought you had work tomorrow. I wanted to talk to you without Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over, and I believe I owe you an explanation. Yeah, sure. That's all right. I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Mm, go hide. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was... Oh. Oh. Mm, well. <laughs> Sorry, Iggy. Uh, I think your theory will remain a theory. Uh. Oh. Hang on. Sorry. Somehow, the when I said theory, S-I-R-I -S popped up with the iPhone that I used for tracking. That was fucking weird. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, fox ears and, and tail. Eh, they're not functional. <laughs> Actually, no. Uh, they are fully functional. I am a fox girl. Don't, don't believe anyone who says that I'm not. That I'm just a normal girl with a job and a mortgage and student loans. That's all a lie. <laughs> I'm a fox girl. You have to trust me here. <laughs> uh, oh, go on, mom. Don't mind little old me. Yes, Iggy, Iggy knows me. Iggy knows me IRL. I will bite people. No, I don't. Only with permission. Uh, oh, you're right. I hate the position of the fucking pillow. For the love of God, this head better not be what it looks like. Ha, huh, whatever. How does this look to you? Oh my God. Wh where'd you get? What's it looking like now, mom? Uh, Ashley, come on. You know that there aren't any bullets left in that gun, but your mom sure doesn't. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. 
<laughs> wrong. The I'm sorry, your theory immediately got called out for wrong. <laughs> uh, we're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas, because I will shoot. Andrew, get a rope or something. I'm tying this bitch up. And don't kill dad. You did not need to be told that. Wait, why are why do you just want to kill mom and not dad? Alright, well, where's the rope? You're just going along with this? It's cool. Whatever. It's fine. Doesn't even try to stop it. Uh, there must be rope somewhere in here. Oh, can we just leave? No, nope. nope. Oh my god. Uh... Trying to put the thought in his head. Oh, you're so fucking right, Iggy. Oh, wait. Rope. That's right. They have a fucking bondage closet. Hi, Dad. Oh, there's some rope in the closet along with other equipment. I wonder if this is fine. As you untangle the rope from everything else. Ah, shit. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son? What on earth are you doing? I'm oh, sorry, I, uh, needed to, uh... There's absolutely no good explanation as to why you're rummaging through their sex toys. <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks for coming on by. We're just rummaging through our parents' sex toys. How are you doing? <laughs> Hope you're having a good day. Have you gotten the chairs working for your for you stealing chairs on your stream yet? Uh, and the truth, I want to tie mom up. Doesn't sound any better. <laughs> 100% on board. Let's fucking go. Not quite. That's so weird. We'll have to we'll, we'll, we'll have to figure that out together. Reflooring a room today? Fair enough. That sounds like a lot of fucking effort. The obvious answer is way less bad than the real answer. Yeah. Uh, the truth, I want to tie mom up. Doesn't sound any better. Oops, sorry. I have to click back into the game. There you go. I want to fuck myself. Andrew is not a good liar. First time sitting at the PC today. Aw, well, I'm glad you finally get to relax. Oh yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? She went to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused, your father goes to check up on your mother. Got rope. Maybe you should hang yourself with it. You know what? It would be an easy out. It, w it would be an easy out at this point. Honey, is everything all right? You take out your cleaver. Is it? Is this, is, is this what the game is? I can see it. That's another theory. It goes along a little bit with Iggy's theory. That was proven wrong. Unless everything is a figment of Andrew's imagination. Uh, what's going on? Push him down the stairs. A Andrew, weren't you supposed to be masturbating? <laughs> fucking stupid. They're idiots. This family is a fucking idiot. Uh, just walk down. Slow and steady. You tie your father up with the rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. Try not to dwell on it, as you'd rather not visualize how they came to be. Screenshot of the year. Yeah, really? Alright, uh, who do we go to first? Mom or... Mom's the top. Yeah, let's go! Girl boss! Mom's a girl boss! Uh... Who do I talk to first? Let's talk to mom first because I feel like we can get answers from her. Andrew. I'm just checking if she has something on her. Well, does she? No. No? no? Andrew. What? I'm still looking for something to tie her up with. Look elsewhere. Don't talk to her. Get away from her. Well, I want to know information. Don't even look her way. Oh, come on. I can't trust you not to get all misty eyed. Eat shit, Ashley. Whatever, marshmallow spine. Go get that fucking rope or whatever already. <laughs> beloved, don't test me. Don't call me your fucking beloved. Okay, okay, sorry. You get the sense that whatever trust she had in you is quickly eroding. Oh, no, it won't. I mean, look at the mop. Truly, this is a stellar mop. This mop, it is a work of art. This mop is incredible. This mop is incredible. Yeah, fucking really? How? Well, I don't have any more rope. Do you want me to go get more rope? Oh, Christmas lights. Whatever. That works. All hail the great mop. And that's, that's, it re you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of my favorite ending in the Stanley Parable, the broom closet ending. My favorite ending in the coffin of Andy and Lele is, is the mop ending. <laughs> you tied your mom up using Christmas lights. So this is what your life has come to. All right, good. Now, do you remember how to perform the writ? Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is that what this is about? Money? 
You go this far just for a quick buck? What's the pin? And where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin and you scribble it down on a note. Okay then, I'm gonna go and try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. Alright. So the parents broke the chain. <laughs> well, they were starving their children. Or, well, I... Mm, they, they abandoned their children and then the people watching over their children starved them. So, vaguely. They're like 50% of the problem. I'll be quick. Got a credit card. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing here? Get back downstairs. They're not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in our faces. It's amazing how cooperative a person is with a gun pointed at them. Why is she so fucking cocky in this situation? She should be down there watching them. Because she... Why? You can be away from me for five minutes while I enter in credit card details in a website to see if it fucking works. Yeah, so go point it. I'll be right back. She does... She always looks pleased with herself. She, she girl boss gas like gatekeeps. <laughs> Every fucking day. <laughs> uh, it's just... Come on out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Did I already say so? Well, you have this habit of flip-flopping. Lay. Fuck. <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. <laughs> You're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you in bed. Ah, oh, he's getting very touchy-feely with her. He's getting incredibly touchy-feely. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Soon he's gonna be doing the thigh grab, and I don't like it. Oh, uh, no, let me be Andrew. I don't want to be her. I don't want to be her. <laughs> yes, it is a vibe game. It's $10 on Steam, uh, if you're interested in it. While Andrew is picking up the, mo the money, you decide to set up the ritual. Or at least what you remember of it. Let's see, I think it involved blood can- no, it was ruins, candles, and blood. Oh, do we need music? Yeah, game said too bad, so sad. Rose candle and blood? No, the book, you don't need the book. You need the ruin, you need the runes, you need the candles, you need the blood. If I drew runes on the floor using the warden's blood, I also set up some candles. And there was a big magic circle already drawn. I think that was drawn in the blood too. <laughs> You're Ashley Kin. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> You're not to yourself. Calm down, please, with your memory. Yeah, something like that. It shouldn't be too hard to do. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. Uh, go get your own blood. Hey, a dark econoid. Thanks for coming. Bye. Thank you, thank you. Uh, where do we get some nice blood? Maybe they have blood in the fridge. Or no, I think we need fresh blood. Uh, got a kitchen knife. Oh. <laughs> hey, Choco. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. Let me, let me shout you out. What were you streaming today, Choco? Choco, Choco, Boco, Boco. Also, fuck you too, Choco. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you be in my presence? No. <laughs> what were you streaming? Thief Simulator? Oh, that's fun. Uh, the Yachts cast are doing their uh, jingle jam, and Thief Simulator is one of the games that you can get if you donate to it. So I'm, I'm probably going to do it. <laughs> sure, Kuku 237 thank you so much for the follow. I very much appreciate it. Thanks so much for the support. Someone said something, and I think I missed it. Let me respond to them. Hang on. Oh. Blah. <laughs> Hang on one second. Oh no, I was just saying to hi to Dark Ikanoi. Alright. <laughs> Iggy, thanks for the one bit. Thank you for pelting me with pennies. It's always appreciated. <laughs> you started it, Choco. I know you started it. I know you hate me. No, just one penny. <laughs> always. Always pelting me. Like the cheap hooker that I am. You make it hail. Not hooker. Stripper. <laughs> I think the wine's getting to me. Thank you, I'm gonna take another sip. Cheers! Uh, got a kitchen knife. All right, give me some blood. Give me some blood. Oh, hang on. My my headphone popped up. Uh, let me take another sip. Absolutely. Love that song, the one currently playing. It is a vibe. This is like the the everyday kind of song. Hi. Can I have your blood bond? Alrighty. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm about? <laughs> Iggy, Iggy 
with two Y's. Thank you for pelting me with two pennies. I appreciate it. Thanks for the support. <laughs> for, may, maybe by the end of the week, we'll have, or by, by the payout, we'll have one whole dollar from people pelting me with pennies. No, even if it's, if, even if it's a joke, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thief Simulator on a harder difficulty. I watched Markiplier play it. Play it. it looks fun. Uh, also, now you can what what I'm about. I'm the superior Iggy. That's funny. You guys don't have to pelt me with Peggy's to be the better Iggy. You are both excellent Iggy's. Uh, don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. But even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like that time when you left me to starve for three months? It was three months. I thought it was five. Was that you looking out for me? Ah, oh, gee, thanks. You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. Yes, you do have a mom. She fucking sucks. <laughs> what are you on about? Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead near that warehouse you used to play at. Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have ridden myself of you right then and there. When it comes to being a mother, I am a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint. She's coping. She's coping hard. Ah, uh, uh, yes, the patron saint of covering one's own ass. Yeah, right, Iggy? <laughs> Why does the mother look so young? Maybe she just like kids young. Or maybe everyone is just drawn young in this art style. Uh, do you have any idea what they would have done to you if they found out? Now then, you paragons of virtue. Let's see whose blood I should use. Which one do you cut? Uh, I hate the mom more, even though she has a point. Ugh. Honey. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Yeah, she won't worry about you in return. Got blood! Yay! Alright, let's see here. Yeah, something like that. Now let's finish drawing this masterpiece. Oh, we need... Don't we need... Don't we need candles? God, we got a lot of fucking blood from Mom. Okay. Whatever. I guess that's enough. Uh... That seems like a lot of blood for one little cut. Hey, Eraser, thanks for cutting my butt. We're about to kill our parents. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, looky, Ma, I drew a circle. Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. I would not be questioning her circle skills. Wait, what? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Between her mouth and brain. I can see that brain hook. I'm chilling at ATM. That's very nice. Well, thanks for coming on by and chilling with me. Feed her kid circle. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I agree. The nerve of you. You never... No, no. Don't let it get a rise out of you now. Candles, candles, candles. Uh, if I were a candle, where would I be? Probably near fire? No. Da, 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 da. I don't know where candles are. Oh, maybe in the bedroom. For... D do you have, like, BDSM candles? No. What are they called? I, I think those are just normal candles. I don't think that they're special. Uh, where the fuck would I put a candle? Probably not a bathroom. I don't know, I don't keep candles because of the cats. The cats would ruin it. That burn at lower temperature. Oh, okay, I wasn't uh, uh, lying to myself then. I took them both. Nope, okay. Uh, doo -doo. No, you can't leave, you have prisoners to keep watch of. Are they in the basement? And I'm just fucking blind? Vinegar. Uh, hello? Are they with the Christmas lights? Here be screwdrivers. Candles! Here we go. Sorry, we went on a wild goose chase. But no, I can't have candles anymore, even though I like them, because the cats uh, think that they're very interesting. I like to jump up on the counters, and uh, James especially likes to, like, pat his paw near it, so I can't have candles anymore. <laughs> he thinks the flame is fun. And I'm like, oh, mm, nope, that can't happen. Love you dearly, buddy, but this is not a toy for you. Uh, alright, that's all the candles I have. Hey, you schmuckums! <laughs> Welcome back! Andrew! Give us a hug. You have a draw limit on your card. I do? You do. I can only get a couple hundred before it locked me out. Ha! Suck it, bitch! <laughs> you're right, Iggy. Yeah, no, the second, the second you adopt the cat, it's like, okay, don't leave anything near the edge of counters. Being insufferable runs in the family. Yeah, well, guess what? Now all we get to... Well, guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. 
Get up. You have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. Off we go. Da -da -da. Really? We're doing this? It, a couple hundred bucks, like, if you're living in a car. It'll be fine for a little bit. Your look, as the customer service line has just opened for the day. Yeah, somehow, there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. This is so fucking awkward. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. <laughs> this is a fucking nightmare in so many levels. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. I, is the credit card company even fucking real? Roughly a quarter millennia later, mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You said you want me to remove the draw limit altogether? That's what I said, yes. Wow, that's crazy. What if your car gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not at all being held at gunpoint here. <laughs> there we go. You're gold. Is there anything else I can help you with? Apparently not. All right, then. Have a nice day, Mrs. Graves. Oh, my God. Just, they're the best customer service rep because they just fucking did it. No questions asked. You didn't have to jump through three hoops to do it. Uh, now it's back into the basement with you. And don't think for a second I didn't see the stunt you were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. It's like, James hasn't tried to push it. But he'll he'll try to tap 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 the flames. And I'm like, uh I don't wanna I don't wanna burn my cat. That it's not worth bed uh Bath and Body Works candles are not worth burning my house down and more importantly burning my cat. Like it's not worth it. <laughs> the card should be freed now. Uh I like your mother, whom Andrew quickly ties back up. I was looking at what you've set up here. And let's just say it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little runes looked like anymore. God, your memory's such shit. Though I already figured as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why didn't you just draw the runes themselves? There's blood right there. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, fair. Whatever. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. Oh, there's an act break! Oh, um, I'm sorry. I didn't- Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll throw up BRB, and then after the ad break, uh... Uh, I will do 10 squats. <laughs> yeah, right? How the fuck do you take money out from a fucking credit card? That's not really... Oh, that's starting soon. Uh, that's not really how credit cards work. That is... Can you do that with a credit card? Is that how it fucking works? Because <laughs> I just swipe the card, and then I pay back the bill every month. Uh, uh, but no, I, I will do uh, 10 squats after the two and a half minute ad break. And you know what? I am actually going to get a glass of water, so I will be right back. Hello, I got water. Uh, you can draw to a bank account, but like it's crazy high interest rate. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I've just never done that before. I use my credit card as, I pretty much use my credit card as a debit card where I put all my purchases on it for, so I can get A, a good credit score and B, get the funny cash back. And I just like immediately pay it off when it posts. So I guess I, I am not aware of those features because I've never had to use them before, which I'm grateful for. I'm grateful I've never had to use them before. Uh, ad break should be over in 40 seconds and then we'll get back to the game and I'll do the 10 squats when we get when we get back to the game I'll do the 10 squats yeah you'll just have to it'll be a good stretch I actually appreciate it thank you Moldo Moldo has prime so Moldo can hear me that's good <laughs> I don't 
know why I even sat down. I have to get back up. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let me take a sip. Sip of water, not wine. Okay. Boop, and a break over. Let me stand up. And squat time too. Oh, I should read the game while we do squats. <laughs> Make it a challenge. Uh, get out of my fucking way, you chair. Uh, one, I really don't like the idea of you wandering. Two, around all by yourself at this hour. Three, I'm not clicking through the game. Four, it's already morning though. Five, well yeah, but I mean, still. Five? <laughs> uh, just hand me the card, I- Six. Actually, can't you leave Andrew alone with mom or dad? Seven. Who knows what they'll say to him, and he's wishy-washy enough as it is. Eight. Actually. Nine. I wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. Ten. Alright, cool. <laughs> Oop. Yeah. Oop. Back into the chair. I love that save game as an option. <laughs> save game. Uh. I. Okay. I'm going to hit trust him. Because I want to know what mom was going to say to Andrew before Ashley showed up. So I'm hoping that he'll have a conversation and we'll get that lore, even though we're currently playing as uh, Ashley. Just give me the card. I'll go get the money. Got credit card. Please be careful. Aren't I always? When are you ever? Huh? See you later. It'll be fine. You won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. Oh, fuck yes! I called it! I get lore! I hope I get lore. You're Andrew. There's nothing you can do about the missing audio. But at least you can draw the missing ruins. Now, where did Ashley get all this blood? Got blood. Is she making you do this? No. Are you going to kill us? Come on. Of course not. Andrew is now a liar. <laughs> Technically, anyway. Then why is all this witchcraft-looking nonsense? Just let her scare you a little. We'll leave you alone after that. How about it? It's hard to say whether she believes you or not. Your father doesn't have anything to say. He's always been like that. Just going along with your mother's whims. Oh, he's just like father, like son. It all makes sense. It's you then. That you're just like him. What did I fucking say? God damn it. Really? So she won't talk to me about whatever it was that she was going to say? God damn it. I wanted to know. There was something I tried to talk to you about earlier. Yes! Tell me! I don't really care, honestly. I care! I, the player, care! About Ashley. What is it? I want to apologize to you. For always making you look after her. That was wrong of me. It's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was already stuck with a seven and a five-year-old to care for. Okay, so she did have kids young. I think we were talking about that earlier. Think you'd have fared better than me? I wouldn't know. This isn't an excuse, mind you. It's an explanation. I never hated you. I was just a fuck-up. Don't say that, honey. We did fine. Ha, so fine. Look where we are right now. Anyway, you were such an easy child. I thought we'd be just fine having another. Yeah, probably. So she had a five and a seven-year-old when she was Andy's age. So when... So what's... What's 22 minus seven? Fifteen? Did she have a kid at 15? Whoa! Oh boy! Oh boy! That's uh... I don't want to judge anyone for anyone that that did happen to because, you know... That... I will say it's very tough. I'm not a mother. I don't have a desire to be a mother. So... Uh, being a stable adult and I still am overwhelmed with the thought of having a child... Having a child at 15... Oh my god. <laughs> uh, hey, Snipes, thanks for coming on by. Uh, we're about to kill our parents, and uh, it, but it's fine. It's fine. That's called abuse. Um, mm. There are 15-year-olds. I don't agree with it, but it does happen with two 15-year-olds who are dating. It's not super common, 
what's happened before. I don't want to jump straight to abuse. It very well could be. I'm not saying it isn't. But it, there's also a chance that it could not be. Um, yeah, I'm going to assume not until proven is. Uh, I was accounting on Ashley to be so... I'm sorry I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what was happening. And for that, I apologize. It's all my fault. I apologize. Well, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be. I think we, we can still sort this out. You left me to starve for three months. I, I fucking hate you. Is that right? If it's money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your company, aren't they, love? That's right. If I put in a good word for you, you're as good as hired. Before warm, though, they get a lot of difficult customers there. But I know you can handle it. It should be easy after handling Ashley all this time. What do you say? Your parents are offering you an ol olive branch. Save game! Alright, so, so file 8 is the one where we pick between trusting Andy and not. And then file 9 is the one where we pick between trusting our parents or not. Do you want angst or tragic comedy? I do like a good tragic comedy. I can do all of them. So... We made multiple save files. We can't overwrite uh, file 9 and file 10. We can't overwrite those ones. That Those are the branching timelines. So, everyone remember. File 9, file 10. File 9, file 10. So, I'll just accept it for right now. <sighs> I want to say yes. I wish I could say yes to that, honestly. But, I can't. I'm stuck. I'm so fucking stuck, you don't even know. Is it the death certificates? I noticed you had moved them. There must have been some ugly mix-up. We can clear that up. There's a lot more to it than that. Nothing has happened that can't be fixed, Andrew. And I'm not angry. I know you didn't want to do this. All you have to do is convince Ashley to give you the gun, and we can put this behind us. They want us to kill our sister. Fuck this. I need to light the candles. Okay. Interesting. So they want. So he's not willing to kill his sister. I can make this work. We're gonna be just fine. All Ashley needs to do is stop being such an unrelenting cunt. We'll be fine. We're going to be fine. Andrew, you'll get the gun from her, right? I'm back. Great. The ritual is ready. I can't even get a proper hello. Can you just summon the damn thing? What's wrong? Everything. Will you just get to it? God damn it. <sighs> Oh, I'm on the edge of my fucking seat. You are Ashley. Oh, hey, it's our demon friend. <clears throat> hello, hello, Mr. or Miss Demon. I'm sorry I don't have the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something? Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the secondhand embarrassment. Thank you, game. Ah! Tar soul. What the fuck is that? I offered those two. Their screaming is short-lived, as the demon steals their souls. Oh! Alex to Gyro, or Hero, depending on who you ask. Thank you so much for the follow. I very much appreciate it. It helps out a lot. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, huh. I wonder if I should feel something. Well, anyway, so the music was a need to summon you after all? Why did I have to play it last time, then? The circle is hard to find. <laughs> He gets lost. He needs maps. I need GPS everywhere I go to. I understand. I get lost in a one-room building. It's it's cool. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which, a deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Thank you. W what? Hello. This is the brother. Yep, the one and only. He may not be very useful, nor is he particularly loyal, but... But nothing, actually. Honestly, I don't even know why I keep him around. You're such a fucking bitch. It's because you're in love with me. God damn it. I see. Farewell, Tarsoul. Until you have another soul to offer. Wait, he got two souls from us. Do, do, do I get double the trinket? The trinket should last, last twice as long, right? Right. Thank you and bye-bye. That's how it should work. I deserve double the trinket. The entity leaves. I don't know why I keep you around either. I guess you're just stuck with me, aren't you? So stuck you don't even fucking know. Ah, an eavesdropper. And you misunderstood. I meant her situation. Sure you did. For sure. Ashley. It doesn't matter now. Ashley, I picked you. 
I don't want to talk. Come on. I don't care. What are we going to do about the bodies? Ashley, I... The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right. The bodies, uh... Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other, them having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere? Who knows? Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation... Right, so let's just make them disappear. Oh, are we near the end of the game? If you're saying, oh, you're getting this ending? Because if, if we're near the end of the game, then I'll totally, like, restart and we'll get all the endings. All right, we can start by chopping them up. Near it? Fuck yeah. All right, cool. Then we'll restart and do all the endings. Uh, what? We're at hour 45. Okay, cool. Can't we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, actually. We're going to make them vanish. Not wash up ashore somewhere. Yes, absolutely. They had to be a fork. No. Huh. How to go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Well, there's a drain right there. Yeah, right you are. Andrew's untying the parent, the parents, but stops. W wait, what? What is it? Is Dad breathing? You take a look, and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Oh shit! <laughs> Whoops! I guess we don't get double the demon. Whoopsies! <laughs> ah, he is. Mom too. You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet their hearts still beat, their lungs draw in air. Interesting. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable? Oh, that means we... Oh, shit. <laughs> that means we, we killed killed people. It wasn't the demon that killed people. Uh, it, it means we killed them. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that can't be. The cult has died, and the warden, too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. <laughs> it's all on you. Wait, what? Don't turn, this, don't turn this around on me. You're the ones who told me to play this game. You started it. This is all Moldo's fault, technically. Moldo is the one who, who told me to play the game. <laughs> I think it was Moldo. Or maybe it was Vlad. I think it was a combination of multiple people telling me to play the game. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Please tell me he wasn't still alive when we ate him. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. It'll be the same with these two. Get to cutting. No, that- this changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Well, I mean, if they starve, it kind of takes the blame off of you. Just like take the ropes off and run away. Uh, I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew, look. Look here for a sec. What? Oh. <laughs> you get your father, too. What are you doing? There. All dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway. You drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Nice. May as well. Alright, I'll start cutting. You got the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Stop. 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 It's flooding. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross. Oh, great. The drain is clogged up. And the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. Da -da -da. Got a screwdriver. Here you go. How do you unclog this thing anyways? After we unscrew the lid, we can pour down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Does that- mm, That works for like, you know, kitchen- Kitchen skank. I don't know if that works for blood and bones and guts. But whatever. Got vinegar. Uh, is there baking soda here? I guess we should go to the kitchen. I'm assuming that's where it is. Da -da -da. Uh, you check the top cabinets. Got baking soda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. Hey, don't tell people to shush. Uh, da, da, da. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Pour in some. You pour the baking soda first and now the vinegar. You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it in vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't lessen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm not the one who's gonna have to get in there. Oh, but of course, I am but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine, just get me the gloves. Uh, he- Fucking ultimate door- Fucking Matt. I love that description of him. 
and it works for his dad too. Here you go, have fun. Oh wait, I, something just occurred to me. If both parents aren't actually dead and demon just took their souls, then that means, uh, fucking, we should get double the talisman. Like it should be double the power, right? It should last twice as long. He got two souls for the price of one. Hand it Andrew the rubber gloves. Yes, fuck yeah. Doormat, doormat is a, is a turn of phrase. Oh, I just, oh. Sorry, I accidentally unplugged my headset. My foot got tangled in the cable. Give me a second. No, my menses. Not the menses. Okay, here we go. Sorry, mild panic. Uh, doormat means someone, like you You let someone walk all over you. You let someone take complete and utter control over you and just let them do whatever the fuck they want. Kind of deal. Thank you for the offerings. Got gotcha, you, dude. Uh, handed Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out of the drain. Nice. A seemingly never-ending amount of God knows what. Oh god, this is disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, this is gross, Andy. Andy doesn't respond anything to that. Eh, good, good. Looks like he's finally coming around. Though there being no reaction at all is a little worrisome. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents. As you do. You disembowel them. And decapitate them. What fun! Aw. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Having regrets? Would I be allowed to say so if I did? Of course. You can tell me anything. No, because you'll turn around and fucking use it against me. Uh, anything I wanted used against me. Anything. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway. Huh. I love you, Andy. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry for lashing out earlier. I forgot how hard this is for you. I'm fine. No, you're not. Talk to me. Mm. Mm. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. I've got nothing to say to you. Andrew continues butchering your parents. And for the first time in forever, you have no idea what he's thinking. So what's the plan for all this? We're to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Do you have a garbage disposal? <laughs> that could work. It would be a fucking pain in the ass, but it would work. Let's look around and see what we can do. Oh, uh, got ahead. Oh, we're just carrying? Okay. That's a lot of limbs. No, no, no. It's fine, Iggy. It's fine. Just, like, pick them up and drop them in. Yeah, just, like, chop the head in half. It'll be fine. It'll work out. Uh, anything down here that will be helpful. Also, are you gonna get rid of the blood circle? <laughs> this mop is incredible. Or are we keeping the blood circle? That's fine. Mop oh, burn them. Oh, we can burn the bodies here. It'd be like cremation. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Oh, yeah. You do. It does have to be pretty fucking high. Boo-hoo. Watch. You place the torsos above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes, but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute, goddammit. This isn't working. Makes me kind of hungry, though. <laughs> Let's leave this be for now. Well, we could just, like, burn the house down. Actually, no. That still wouldn't be hot enough to, like, get rid of bones. Uh... Cut the limbs into chopped meat. Got chopped meat. You skin the heads. Got face. Got skull. Nice. What do I do with their faces? Make mask out of them? I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace. And what about the skulls? Northern European country in the late 90s, so they probably don't have a garbage disposal. Ah, shit. God damn it. Sorry, you probably hear my Discord pings. Uh, and what about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with all the other bones. You pour your parents' organs into the blender and blend away. Mm. Several servings of crimson smoothie emerge. Might make them think they burned in their bed. Uh, maybe, but with all, like, everything fucking... I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. That could work. All of which you pour down the kitchen sink. How's that? Good as gone. Great. Now deal with the rest of the body parts. The support from you today is just overwhelming, huh? Uh, or no. Let's turn some of the meat, in meat into soup. Throw in some vegetables, maybe spices, and then throw the rest away as scraps. What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. What was that soup you made earlier? And what were the ingredients again? 
The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. Oh my god. Why does she... Why does she want to eat them? We have money. We took out... We, we, we can get money. We have our mom's credit card. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I knew you memorized it. You fucking nerd. Free food? Yeah, there you go. Eat up, everyone. Have your have your human slop as you do. You're welcome. Uh, you know, I have all the ingredients prepared. A uh, simple da da da. Chop it. Ba, ba, ba. Are we actually gonna eat them again? I guess throw them back in the fire. Three faces into the fire as you do. Uh. Oh no. Gotta be thrifty in this economy. <laughs> That's quite funny. Fair enough. Valid. Alright. Make a stew. Kit has her mom's credit card. Uh, da -da -da. What do you mean? Oh, oh, I have to chop the vegetables. Fucking excuse me. I'm so sorry. Look at that. Much better than your soup. Now, is there anything else we still need to deal with? Bones? The soup is brewing. Well, uh, can we clean the blender? You think the soup is ready yet? Well, can we- I want to check this first. No? Okay, well, let me check that. Dinner is ready! I'm eating too. Of course! This is the last hearty home-cooked meal for a while, after all. You're really not gonna have any? I honestly don't see the point. If you're hungry, there's other food available- Yeah! There's a lot of- we're not stuck in an apartment starving anymore. Mm-hmm. But don't you want to feel powerful? Explain. Well, uh, hmm. Let me think. Okay, so, humans are at the top of the food chain, right? Oh, she's fucking bullshitting this entire thing. And then when I come and eat the humans, I'm on top of that. That's not really how this that works, but whatever. Yummy, yummy. Then is this your diet now? You sacrifice people and eat them for kicks? Ah, so you're not getting it. Let me try explaining it again. I don't need to get it. I just need to know if this is going to be a thing. I'm the one who's going to have to sort it out. It's like if I eat someone, I'm eating their entire life so far. Like everything being known and felt, I'm consuming all of that. And if I could turn that into some sort of energy, I'd be all powerful. Oh my god, she wants to be the demon queen. You know what? She could become a demon queen. Because she's a fucking snake. Uh, does this power leave out? Da, ba, ba, ba. Does this power leave as you shit the corpses out? Aha, <laughs> no, no. It's just like absorbing nutrients. I get to keep the energy. If you say so. You're not getting it at all. Even if I could magically absorb someone else's life, what would I do with that? Don't you get like fucking brain parasites? If you eat people or something like that, you, you get some fucked up disease for eating people. Uh. Yes? Okay. Fun. A, a casual parasite. You do. Cool. Even if, uh, even if I could magically absorb someone else's life, what would I do with that? I have no desire at all to be our mother or father in any capacity. If you eat the brain. Got it. Understood. Mm, yummy brain parasites. That's true. What's one more? What's one more, Higgy? Uh, well, those two, I'm gonna shit out, shit out and flush down the toilet. Ha. Ah, there, finally. Mm, nothing. Well, anyway, I think we dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities, but we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Mm, nice. Teamwork. Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away the soup. As long as they don't look nervous, no one will think anything of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Ah. Right. What was I thinking? You wouldn't worry even if I told you to. Yeah, no, fair. You should be fine to just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? Mm. Mm. Why wouldn't you, like, drain it down the sink? Why, why throw it away? Throw away the leftover human soup. Yay! I'm the better character again. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. So now I'll just collect them all before I actually lose this track of them. Got plastic bags. Grind them into a dust and then throw them outside. The flesh is burned into charcoal, but the bones remain. Got bones. Put them into one of the plastic bags. Uh, can I like hammer them into dust? Oh, hi. Why are you down here? So what do we do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What did we do all this other crap for? Just fucking smash them into into dust. You can do that with bones. They're probably somewhat brittle from the heat. Quiet. Quiet, you. As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. 
Based on what logic? The, uh, dental records, I guess. You guess? How nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. Mm, that's kind of a lie. They got rid of bodies before, just really shitty. Uh, I'll be one can't identify someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float, though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find something to weigh them down, just in case. He hasn't had practice in a while, fair. You remove one of your parents' teeth using the screwdriver. Oh, oh I don't know why out of everything that's what fucked me up the most is removing the teeth. Uh. Oh, fun! Thanks, Iggy! I'm gonna fucking vomit! Uh, got a whole bunch of teeth. Got a toothless skull. Got all the teeth. Now, now you gotta find a way to, get, way to get rid of them. Got a toothless skull. Uh, flush? You flush the teeth down the toilet. Takes a few tries for all of them to flush. There! All gone. You wish you could do this to all your problems. Hello? So we lose the te teeth, bank the bones with some rocks, and call it a day. Got it. Let me know when you got in the teeth and bones and rocks sorted out. Oh, uh, do, do I go get rocks now? Uh, backyard? Yeah, fucking really. If, if they see it. Uh, can I take these rocks? Thank you. Got some rocks. Place them in one of the plastic bags. Thank you. Are we gonna have to rent a boat? Well, we'll tell we'll tell the, the the skipper we're here to spread our parents' ashes and just fucking throw the plastic bag into the ocean. <laughs> the game would do that. The game would do that, and and no one would question it. Uh, finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents' rent or whatever. I wish we could, but. Eventually someone's going to say, Hey, Mitchell's Grace haven't shown up to work in a while. So they get fired. So what? Uh, so most jobs go looking. I doubt either of the bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the people here. The neighbors will notice them gone, despite their name still being on the door. We could tell some lie. Say we're house watching for our parents and so on. Yeah, house watching forever. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you do. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy just with just each other's? I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant. It's all the same. Anyway. They can't all go. Haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with the authorities. And who will they find here? The children, who didn't report their parents missing. Officers ask, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to. I just don't think we can. Well, we can at least use their IDs. We could be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Ah, I fucking hate that. But they look enough like their parents that they could get away with it. Uh, we'd run into the same problem as our own IDs. Prevention avoiding practices of cannibalism. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, they have a different dad? I see. Okay. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. <sighs> Sorry, Ashley. I wish it was that easy. Ashley's got the right of it. <laughs> yeah. Just one person all the time. Put all the pressure on them. It totally won't end in disaster and hurt feelings. Uh, whatever. I'll clean the basement then. Oh my god, we're switching so much. Let me be the good character. God damn it. I really thought we were in the clear after all this. However, I'm gonna need a mop. <laughs> what? Let's fucking go, boys! We got the mop ending! <laughs> we got my favorite ending. The mop ending. Let's fucking go. Hey, right, I'll clean. Do I pick up the candles? Oh, no. I do that and then. Should I put the candles back in the box too? Yes. Thank you. Boop. Nice and clean. Like no one was ever here. We turned all the candles into the box. Uh, rumor has it that there once was a brilliant mop here. Oh, well, put the mop back. Oh, we're hijacking the mop from its home? I'm sad. The, sister, the sister father is the good kid. The sad thing is, is that that's true. <laughs> uh, all done. Are we ready to go? I think so, though there's no way to tell if we missed something still. Or then maybe see if you have a dream where, where we're caught, I guess. I offer two souls, so it stands to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Ooh, 
Oh, cow brains. No, I've never had any kind of animal brains. I've only had like very traditional boring meat. Um, and I'm okay with that. Uh, please do. Stab her in her sleep. Uh. Yeah, no, it, it does not seem like my cup of tea, Iggy. It, it, uh, uh. Now that your mother is dead, there's no need to sleep down here with the sewage. Well, okay, fair enough, actually. Just, are you guys sleeping in your parents' bed? They have sex there, though. That's gross. So what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Hell, if I remember. You don't? Ugh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up yours. You didn't even remember our parents' address. Which is, of course, just as important as this. Uh. I'm gonna fuck myself. <laughs> Look, it just said that I need to hold on to it to have clairvoyant dreams. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then in, could I hold it this time? Nope. Oh, come on. Even if you have a vision, you just freak out and overthink it. Your dumbass can barely understand what's happening in the present, much less in the future. If anyone should be deciphering what these dreams are about, it should be me. Screw you. Now I'm definitely not letting you have it. Oh, is her dream gonna be that Andy kills her and then Andy kills her? Because I would be happy with that ending. I would be very happy with that ending. Don't tell me it. Don't tell me if that is the ending. Just, oh my god, please! Uh, oh, fine. Oh, just fine. That was uncalled for. You're not getting my trinket. Fine, whatever. Have an awful night in terrible dreams. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Andrew fucks off, and you go to sleep. Well, this one looks familiar-ish. It's the demon summoning me again? It did say it would. The door... The door hastily barricaded. Something tells you to leave it be. Oh, the demon hastily barricaded her. What is this gibberish? We're in demon land. It's fine. Gotta pick up the flowers to make our little path. I remember this part. God, I, I, I hope he kills her. Someone is after the door. Maybe I shouldn't stay here. Yes. Kill her. Kill her. Can I? Oh! I'm sorry, the game. Can I? Wait, where are you, stupid? Get out of here. Oh, no, it won't let me. Uh, got an axe. Chop, chop, chop. Chop wood. Does someone live nearby? Then again, demons can teleport. But then again, do demons need firewood? Pressing questions right there. But let us not forget, you are being pursued. Ooh, I, I feel like a jump scare is coming. You can't make this jump. Ah. Can I axe? Like, the axe is gonna help you any. God knows what's on its way. Am I gonna die? You can't make this jump. What, what do I do? Do I make a bridge? I can't tell if this is a time sequence or not. Uh... Ah, you take the sign. Road sign gets the X. Got it, okay. Uh, we're gonna jump across. We're gonna jump across. There we go. Nah, nah. Oh, check the sign. Yes, I figured it out eventually. You probably shouldn't leave the path open for your pursuer. Oh, good call. Kick road sign down the endless void. Oh, you should take it with you. You're fine? Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh... Uh, oh, it's up there. I see. Go up there? There's nothing to step on. God damn it. Oh, there it is. It's on the other side. <laughs> For now. God, I hope she dies. Uh, there's nothing to step on. Well, can I take the piece of wood? Got wood in plank. Nothing to step on. Uh, over here? Oh, thank you for the sip. Uh, I will sip water. Dehydrate is a booze. Ah, thank you for the water. God knows I need it. <laughs> I forget to drink during streams. Uh, does that help me? Uh, oh, there we go. Thank you for the booze. Cheers. Lovely. I actually like it more now. Oh, there we go. I'm just an idiot. I think I think it needed to like aerate and decant a little bit. I, I I like I like the wine a lot more now. Or maybe my taste buds are just developing. I'm not as picky as I used to be. Who knows? 
All right, so I need that key up there. And then, let's see. Do I do this thing? There's nothing to step on. Did I fuck this? Do I have to go back and get those? <laughs> well, the game allowed me to. Hmm. Do, do I have to leave and come back? You fucked up. But I can't leave and come back. What do I do? <laughs> uh... Hello? It's locked. Whatever, I can see the key right there. Let me just find some more flowers. It appears you've gone and fucked yourself. Thanks, Gabe. <laughs> Kitty key. <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh, that's really fucking funny. <laughs> you know, okay, wait. You you know for the fact that the dev just like made that puzzle and didn't think about someone fucking it up like I did, and then they realized, you know, enough people complained that they were like, oh shit, how do I quickly fix this? Just make a default on the fucking sky. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, back to the game. Dream logic. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Tiny Tree gets the axe. Ooh, I can axe things now. That's very exciting. Oh, that's so funny. All right, uh, so there's a black door and there's a white door. And I see a white key down there. So I guess we will be going through the white door. Although, this seems like the type of game that would fuck with me and have the keys be opposites. But, you don't have a key. Okay. To the white door! There we go. It's hard to see the paths. Or maybe I'm just fucking blind. Both are valid. Boop. Hello! Ah, it's just you? Kill her! No, wait. Something isn't. Um, I don't suppose we could talk things out? There, truce? Come on, Andy, play nice with your sister. Fucking kill her. Tag. I'm it. You should run. In three, two, one. Wait, no! It's not my fault! This episode is titled. No, wait! Wait! Wait, wait, wait! Andy and Lele, and. No, Andrew, wait! And the final, final, fi and the final finale, finally. Fuck that up. No, I'm sorry, okay? I'll be better. Let's just leave and forget about all this. Everything will be just fine. I'll behave, I promise. You've already shown me that's not true. I'm not falling for this again. No, 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 no. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andrew. I'm sorry. I'm so tired of your sorries. They don't mean shit. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> shit! Shit. No, 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 no. What did I do to piss him off? Like, the everything. You did everything. Why would Andy ever... No, he would never. Not my Andy. No, I suppose he might. Or Andrew might, anyway. It's him less and less and less. Kill her. Everything okay with you? <laughs> Call him your murder boner? Absolutely not. Been waiting multiple hours for this. Oh, uh, I, I guess I had a nightmare. A vision? No. No, no, no. It was just some vague nonsense. Okay. Uh, hey, Andy. Please be Andy. Please be Andy. Please be Andy. Please. What is it? Oh, thank fuck. No, nothing. Nothing. Never mind. I just love you so much. Thanks. Jesus, what a shit reply. As usual. Uh, why? Why? Why are you still being mean to him? Would it kill you to say it back to me every once in a while? You keep calling me by some other guy's name. What do you expect? Come on, then. Our parents won't jump into the ocean by themselves. Push her in. Push her in. Push her in. 
How are we even gonna get to the ocean? I'm so ready. Can we take the murder ship with us? No. Oh, before we go, is there anything in the house that I should look at? Or do we just go drive? I wanna make sure I don't miss anything. I imagine something won't happen until we actually go and drive in the car. Go drive? Okay. Uh, which car was ours? It's been a hot minute. Uh. <laughs> Bowling. <laughs> Whoops. Are you picking them up or what? Hey now, I wasn't the one who picked them- who packed them in this flimsy bag. I said pick them up, you dumb bitch. What did you just call me? Now, Ashley. Uh, all right, all right. Boop. I got the skulls. Let's go, let's go, big bro. Thank God no one is here at this hour. Uh, is this our car? Cool. Vroom vroom. It's, it's so happy. It's such a happy vroom vroom. Okay, so don't stray too far into the light, just in case someone does pass by. Would have been given the option to shoot Andrew at the end of the dream. Aww! That's fun. Oh, here we go. Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. What about the skulls? Since they're no longer in a bag. Whatever. Chuck them. If you say so. Well then, my congratulations for your loss. Very clever. What is it? Nothing. So what do we do now? Wherever you want. Oh, well this is new. How come? We'll end up doing whatever you want anyway. Why even ask me? Are you, uh, mad at me? Always. Nah. What do you want to do, Ashley? I want to do what you want to do. Want to turn ourselves in, then? Well, not that. What the hell? So much for my opinion. Not that I was serious. You're totally mad at me, Andy. Why? Ugh. Ugh, I hate Dream. Uh. Remember when you promised you wouldn't call me that anymore? Nope, I remember half a minute ago, when he said we'd do what I want. You're really going to treat me this way, after all I've done for you? So you aren't mad at me. I fucking knew it. I asked for one thing, Ashley. One. Not a bad thing, mind you. Not even a difficult one. Yeah, I'm mad. But so what? It's not as if you're going to do anything about it. Just pick the next stupid thing you want to do, and let's go. I don't know. All the- everything- I don't even pay attention to him. Everything involving him is fucking stupid. It's, I just don't pay attention. You were fine with me calling you Andy back in the house yesterday. I had to be, didn't I? You knew I couldn't afford to start a fight with you, then. That's why you started pushing for it. You think I didn't pick up on that? Well, there, there's neither appearances to keep nor corpses to hide now. Do you want to have another go at it? Well? What would you want, Andrew? To kill her. <sighs> I want to lock you in the trunk of the car and drive off this bridge. <laughs> huh. You think I'm kidding? Ew. I don't want to be in the same grave as mom and dad. Then spare me half the fucking respect I give you. I will. Right after you love me with half the heart I love you with, asshole. Say, exact say how exactly is irritating me supposed to inspire tenderness? <laughs> it's complicated. I'm a very complex person like that. The hell you are. You absolute simpleton. If I'm so simple, how come you can't keep up? I have to be stupid to understand the thoughts of the stupids. Arrogant prick, get over yourself. Maybe later. Meanwhile, you should get in the car. We're out of here. Oh, where are we going? To the bottom of the ocean, dumbass. He already told you. I don't know yet, but I want to leave before the corpses float up or something. Drive into the ocean! Drive into the ocean! I wonder if we're fine now. Yeah, it's probably fine. End of episode two. Ah, oh, what?! Uh, episode 3 DK. Aww. Alright, well, let's do the other ending. <laughs> uh, so we have to decline the olive branch now. Aw, she didn't actually fucking die. Rip. Well, about Ashley. I wish you- I wish you wouldn't talk about her that way. Immediately, we're going next ending, I don't give a shit. Uh, let, let's not fight. There's a solution here somewhere, I'm sure. Uh-uh. -oh. What were those death certificates about, anyway? It's a life insurance scam. Nothing more. How's that work? There's this doctor. Well, a surgeon, actually. After they told us you'll be stuck in that apartment, we got redirected to him. 
And as far as the records go, you died from the parasites. I didn't even know I had any life insurance. Well, I died for you too after you got quarantined. I was kind of curious how they... It's kind of curious that they would let you do that. So then we died. Were you in on it? Of course not. I really thought you died. They said your bodies had to be burned because of the parasites. So that's why I never got to confirm it myself. Awkward one, I guess. Is this the Roll Tide one? Let's go! Roll Tide, boys! Ah, she's full of shit. W where are you going? I have to finish setting this thing up for her. Oh, come on. Forget about this nonsense. We can sort the documents out. Hell, you can't even live here if that doesn't work out. You can leave this whole mess behind you. Just like that. That's okay. I'm not really interested. What? But that, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you not? Ah, I get it. You fuck her. <laughs> Mom just straight up says it. What? what? Oh, that is disgusting. Andrew, she's your sister for God's sake. I haven't done anything. What the hell, Mom? Then what does she give you that makes it all worth... That makes it worth all this? Well, that's not your business, is it? I knew something was off. How did I fuck up so bad? I'm the worst mother ever. Oh, I missed the dad's face. No, I mean, yes you are, but I have never. I'm back. Now of all times? I got the money. Did you miss me, handsome? Did you? Did you? <laughs> I'm fucked up. I want to die. Same, Andrew. Same. Whatever. Summon the fucking demon already. Oh, so eager. Let's see if it shows up, though. It says there's no music. Wait, what are you talking about? Quiet, you. I'm still armed. Andrew, like the candles. Oh god, he's back to being a door. Uh, I don't know if I am just Pincito. I don't know if I am. How you doing though? How was Tetris earlier? Alright, get to it. I think you were playing Tetris earlier. We're about to kill our parents and they just accused us of fucking our sister. And we almost killed our sister. Uh, we, we just did one ending of this game. And now we're doing the other ending of this game. Uh, you are Ashley. Yes, welcome back, welcome back. Nope, it wasn't me. Oh, were you playing? I thought you were playing Tetris. I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> hello, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Demon. I'm sorry to. Uh, we read all this. Uh, here you go. We're just gonna skip ahead until Harvester. I don't know what Harvester is. You never mentioned that. Oh. Uh, let's see. So we're just gonna skip it, skip ahead until we get to new endings. Trinket works again. Yay! Thank you. Uh, ba -ba -ba. There's other dialogue. This is all the same so so far though. Da -da -da. Who cares? She says. Are you kidding me? The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right. The bodies are. Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them, but on the other, they're, uh, da -da -da. Da -da -da. No, it is different. It's not different enough for me to care. Um, let's see. Uh, how do we go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Drain right there. Uh, oh, wow, check out the smartass here. This is vaguely different. Andrew is untying the parents, but stops. W wait, what? What is it? Is dad breathing? You take a look at your- uh, da da da. Mom is too? By pressing the F key? Oh, for real? Oh god, what is this? What the fuck is so funny about all this? Though if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Oh, come on. Thank you for giving me F. Uh... Look here for a sec. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill them. Get your father too. Now I always make you do all the dirty work. Alright, so we're just doing this sequence again where we kill the bodies or the parents. Uh, so screwdriver. Wait, don't you know what? Screwdriver? Start by cutting. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really just want to see the other ending. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Only giving it one frame. Yeah! <laughs> uh... Oh, I thought I already... Okay. I don't have the baking soda yet. That's the bathroom. That's not... Uh, check the top cabinets. Baking soda. Yeah, all, all of this is similar enough. 
if the dialogue just goes from Andy hating us to Andy hating us slightly less, I don't care enough about that. I just want like new ending scenes. Uh, do the baking soda first. Oh wait, rubber gloves. Yes, yes there is. <laughs> Listen, it's an RPG maker game. You can't expect too much. <clears throat> Rubbly gloves. Oh, this is new. Okay, bold of you to call me that when I am armed. <gasps> you wouldn't. Come here, you. Ah, no, no, don't you dare. No, I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew. Andrew, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Fine, you're spared for now. The drain works. Let's get this over with. Okay, so now Andrew is more uh, on board with the killing. You and your brother dismember your parents and disembowel, decapitate. Uh, it sounds like you expect him to. Uh. Who is it? What? No, nothing. Andrew. <laughs> yeah, really. If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. What? No, it's it's really nothing. I must be seeing things. Oh, uh, what? Do you think I ever bear witness to you being distraught over our parents' corpses? Oh, right. Then again, I bet you're just moping over finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh, you? Hmm? What? Are you doing alright? As alright as I can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. You're being weird. You're um, actually is being like nice and concerned. Andrew is being the weird one here. Look who's talking. Ha! All right, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering your parents. Incidentally, this is not in your stomach. Yeah, no, it's fine. So what's the plan for all this? We're to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah, but how? Uh, means available. Let's look around and see what we can do. Okay. Uh, this is the same. Head. Torso. Torso. Lots of limbs. A head. Da -da -da. Uh, fire. Da -da -da. <laughs> well, she's being like... Con she's being a, a concerning sister. Like, that's weird for her. Chop meat, skin the heads, got face, got skull. Make mask out of them. Get the fireplace. That's exactly what you want for once you immediately start regretting it. That's a fair fucking point. Uh, the rest. What do you think I'm eating? So I'm doing what you want. Uh, this is all the same. Uh, go outside, get our ingredients. Boop. I don't know if I'll do the other ending because I'm pretty tired. Boop. Boop. Thank you, thank you. Potatoes. Uh, I might just do. Oh, I don't know why I went into the bathroom. But I have a spine and not a doormat. Well, there you go. Oh, god damn it. I always forget to fucking chop them. You think I would know? Uh, by now. And be like Andrew with your sister, though. <laughs> gonna fucking vomit. Two main endings with only minor variations. Okay, cool. So we don't have to go back to the save, the other save. Uh, unless it's like a quick you die ending. What? Did you want a disease or something? Of course I want to offer you raw meat. You really take me for an idiot, don't you? Take you for what you are, idiot. Watch your mouth. This idiot just poured your parents down the drain. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty smart, I guess. For an idiot. Oh god, he loves her. Uh... Do you think the soup is ready yet? Did I already throw the faces in the... Okay, yeah, I did. Boop! Uh, dinner is ready! I'm eating too- Yes, you are. I suppose. That's right, now say ah! Ah, uh, oh god, this is different! He's actively eating it! Unexpected? Well, well, how is it? It's okay. Just okay? I mean, it's better than last time, but... Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Mom's just a dry person, alright? And how the hell is it dry? This is soup! No, Mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. I rate this waste of ingredients out of 10. Would not eat again. Oh my god, I don't like this version of Andrew. <gasps> you will retract that statement at once. Must be dad. Well, yeah, because dad has no characterization. 
Uh, I slave away in the kitchen. I slave away in the kitchen for you, and this is the thanks I get? I'm so sorry you can't cook. You only eat your parents once. That's that's true. That is very true. Uh, mm, well, mm, maybe it's not true. I would recommend against it. Oh, I have a story about eating dead bodies. My one friend, he is a... He is a skydiving instructor, right? And he brought this older guy up to into uh, the air. It was his first time ever skydiving. And he was like, his, the older guy, he was like, my son passed and I, and he absolutely loves skydiving. He would go all the time. I want to spread his ashes um, while we're going out of the plane. And my friend was like, okay, yeah, cool. So, <laughs> so, you know, they go up in the plane and my friend is attached to him and he's in front of him. They jump in the, they jump out of the plane. Um, and the guy takes out his son's ashes and opens up the urn. And of course, the ashes go up <laughs> into my buddy's face and into his mustache and his nose and his mouth. And he, you know, that's fucking traumatizing in the first place, but it's even more fucking traumatizing as you're falling to the fucking earth after you jumped out of a plane. He. Yes, there are two Aggies. It's mildly confusing, but it's fine. They're fighting for dominance. Let them let them sort it out. Uh, but yeah, so my 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 buddy ate human ashes. Is the moral of that story? He he took it very well. He he just he just uh, got home and like washed his mouth out. I think he he took the rest of the day off and then just washed his mouth out like crazy because that's what I would do. I think also had some vodka. Um, but yeah, so if you if. If you're going skydiving to spread your son's ashes, just be aware of the helper on your back and make sure that the ashes don't land in their face. Moral of the story. Anyways, uh, you're not forgiven. Oh. Jackass, eat shit and die. Well, this food is certainly shit. What? Come on, I'm joking. It's not that bad. It's fine. More than fine. Yes, yes, it's fantastic in a way my dumbass can't appreciate. How about that? Hmm. Why, yes, indeed. This cooking is beyond my mortal comprehension. Correct. Uh, oh, ad break. Uh, I did not realize there would be an ad break. I'll, I'll throw on a BRB. Okay, there we go. I'll take a sip of wine during the ad break. Cheers. Ah. I'll take a sip of water, too, actually. I need it. What day is today? Saturday? Yes. I'm all messed up because my boyfriend spent the night yesterday, but normally he spends the night Saturday into Sunday. So I'm, I'm all fucked up thinking that today is Sunday. No, it's Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Iggy. You got me. You got me covered. Uh, it's hard to remember days some, sometimes. So that means I have all of tomorrow to do homework and clean. Let's fucking go. Because if I get it done early, then I'll be able to relax and I'll be happy. I might get pizza tomorrow. No, I got ramen today. I went out and got ramen today. I shouldn't eat out twice in one weekend. That's really bad. <laughs> now that I'm working Monday through Friday. That's fair. I tend to get confused midweek. Mi midweek, I always get fucked up. I forget what day of the week it is. I'm gonna take another sip. of wine after stream or should I just rest four burger patties is seven bucks that's not horrible <laughs> meat in general is expensive I will I will buy meat if I like um if I'm going out to eat but I don't buy it for myself because one, it's expensive, and two, I just don't like cooking it. I don't trust myself. Uh, oh yeah, mac and I love mac and cheese, but it's kind of expensive. You got an interview on Monday? Oh, good luck! I, I have faith in you. You're you're also in the software development world, right, Iggy? Ig Ig Iggy with two Ys. I know Iggy with single Y is in software dev. 
I do like a good salad. I think a good salad is lovely. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, I, I believe Iggy with two Ys also works in um, funny, funny dev. Funny, funny development world. You know, my job. Boring, but gets the bills paid. Buy, pays for the Fox Girl VTuber avatar. What more do I need? All right. Uh, I will switch. But I do some software too. Oh, okay. I see, I see. All right, back to the game. Sorry for the pause. Uh, an out of this world culinary experience, which the likes of me cannot even taste properly. Oh, uh, I have to click back into the game. There you go. Uh, I, I don't quite know what that means, but it sounds cool. It means more free, free time and less brain cells. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I complain about work, but everyone who works complains about work. It, it, and my job is not horrible by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to sense all the sub subtleties. Sub subtleties. Truly, when I said waste of ingredients, I mean it's a waste to feed it to me. Food of the scalver should only be fed to kings. No, gods. That's more like it. So exquisite is your cooking that I will write you a shitty poem about it. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the e-boy Andy that we all know and love. Oh, God. Lo and behold, I implore you, come feast your eyes on her. Oh, and there is food, too. <laughs> to ease your weary soul, she's brewed a broth to give you quite the fright. There must be magic on her fingertips to cook such a delight. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so much. Uh, and yet the meat is drier than her lips. Quarter past midnight. Should I buy lip balm? I don't like. I don't like that. They're talking. He's talking about how dry her lips are. I don't like that. Uh, when Lethal Company. Uh, I really like co-op horror games. Like I hate phasmophobia. I and I don't like demonology. So I probably wouldn't like Lethal Company either. I tend to just get annoyed and frustrated. Yeah, exactly. How does Andy know that? And the meat isn't dry, goddammit. It's just right. It's cute. Yeah, I know. It's fucking adorable. Haha. <laughs> However, humans are hard to cook. I'll get it next time. What next time? Ah, whatever. Anyhow, I think we've dealt with the flesh of all of the best of our abilities. The meat? What meat? And when Iggy had this one. No, the Iggy, the Iggy's realized that they're, they're more powerful as a group. <laughs> they got unionized. <laughs> they're gonna unionize and overthrow us. Fuck. <laughs> Rip. Uh, but, but we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to dish the leftover soup. Well, clean the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Iggy nice. Iggy nice. Iggy nice. Alright. Uh, don't worry too much about... Uh, da -da -da. We, we read all this already. Okay. Uh, again, I don't know why I'm not taking the front door. I think just old habits die hard. Uh, Andrew time! Did we switch to Andrew last time? Yes. Yes, we did. Plastic bags. Okay. I couldn't quite remember. Bones. Plastic bag. Uh... <laughs> Rise up for the Iggies. <laughs> you guys will make a lovely and strong union. You're all for this? There you go. Uh, what do we do about... Uh... Da -da -da. This seems like all the same. It's your boy. It's, it's your people. Iggy. Uh... Uh, oh, I, ha I still have to get rocks. Yeah, no, you guys, you guys can form an Iggy union. That's cool. Ha have fun, have fun with your union. I'm, I'm proud of you. Yeah, it's kind of like how I'm making a Fox VTuber army. You know, we're gonna rise up and take over Twitch. <laughs> you, you guys, you guys can have the the Iggy, uh, like an Iggy country. That's more than a union, isn't it? That's like a, an entire uh, uprising, but it's fine. Teeth and bones and rocks sorted out. Oh, do I have to get them? Iggy and Iggy. No, no. One Iggy has two Ys. The other Iggy only has one eye. One eye. Uh, what am I missing? I thought I got all the bones. 
Let me know when you got the teeth and bones and rocks sorted out. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh god, now it's small. No, it's supposed to be like that. Uh. You forgot the teeth. I thought we took the teeth out of the skull. Yeah, no, we have the teeth. Plastic bag, toothless skull, teeth. Oh, you flush them. That's right. That's right. I'm sorry. I thought we put them in the bag. I'm sorry. I forgot. Thank you. Sorry. We would have been here all day. Uh, yes, we have to clean. I can't exchange teeth for money. They used to do that back in the day because, uh, you know, dentures, old, old time, timey dentistry was fucked up and they would make dentures out of other people's teeth and they would just rip them out and you, you would pay money for them. And then that, that's how, I believe that's how George Washington's teeth uh, worked. Yeah, no, it was a thing. Oh, da, 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 da. This all is vaguely the same. Da, da, da. Hello, GTA 8 5. Are, are you excited about GTA 6 trailer being uh, launched on, on the 6th? I love that um, fucking. Oh, they were talking about the Tooth Fairy, weren't they? <laughs> I, I took it from the historic context. Um, I love that people are already like so hyped for it the GTA 6 trailer, and we haven't even seen the trailer. They just did a teaser for the trailer. It's fucking wild. The origin of the Tooth Fairy. Uh, very, very well could be. Very well could be. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, we just did one ending, uh, GTA 8-5. We just did one ending of the game, and now we're doing um, the second ending. We, we did the ending where Andy... Uh, maybe I shouldn't say it. Uh... Which one? We did the one where Andy hates uh, Ashley, and now we're doing the one where Andy loves Ashley and, and is not mad at her and wants to end everything and kill her. Thought we were in the clear, blah, blah, blah. So we're, we're kind of, we're kind of sort of skipping through everything. We got the flip mop! Yes. Theoretically, I don't know for sure. Incest route. All right, we all know it's the incest route. We'll stop dancing around it. We'll just fucking call it the incest route. <laughs> mop moment! Everybody, cheer for the fucking mop. Let's go. <laughs> it's our favorite character in our favorite ending, the mop ending. All right. Uh, can't return the mop. All right, let's go. We heading out. Ready to go? Think so. And the name of the dream where you caught. Have children. I hate children. <laughs> Please do. Oh God! How the fuck did you end up on that side of Tumblr? That's fucked up, Iggy. <laughs> you're, you're still on Tumblr. That's fucked up in general. Oh, sorry. I bumped the mic. Can you, can you say about it? How long? So yeah, we're we're kind of sort of uh, skipping through. Hey, don't say that. I don't like that, Choco. That's a bit too far. Just joined after Reddit collapsed? That's fair. Um. Stop being so... It's my trinket. Yeah. This is vaguely different, but I don't care enough to read it. <laughs> We're not cutting it. Uh, we can both hold it at the same time. See if either of us get a vision. How? It's a bit small. Between our hands, right? Oh, God. They're gonna sleep together in bed. Oh, my. How, how romantic. Come again. Holding hands when we sleep together? Man, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, forget this. Good night. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's fine. Though I still think I'm gonna be, though, only one who has a vision. We'll see. Good night. Good night. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I have not- I once read it, did the, the, did the thing with the API changes, and we all hated it. Oh god, I keep bumping the mic. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm tangled in cables. Uh, I deleted Reddit from my phone, and my phone activity went down about two hours per day. So, I don't- I'm not installing any Reddit. If I want to use Reddit, I go on my phone web browser, and it's usually just to Google something. And I'm okay with that. 
fuck this. How am I supposed to sleep after you went and said something so off color? <laughs> Reddit was always a shithole. It doesn't help at all. Mom said something outrageous too. Oh yeah, I heard that. You did, huh? So that's what that little show was about earlier. Did you see her face? That was great. I hope she regretted her entire life just then. Pretty sure she just regretted giving birth to us. I'll take it. If for once she regretted the both of us, then I'm happy. What? Nothing. Good night. Dream sequence again? It isn't long until sleep takes you over. Oh, this is completely different. Let's fucking go. Got pink plushie. Nice. This looks like, um... A sucky drawing. Okay. TV won't turn on. Uh, wow, who drew all this garbage? Alright, let's... Grab this. Red crayon. So this is probably... Da -da -da. Nothing but static. Uh, so I have to start over at the other side of the TV. And then go up and over. Boop. Thank you, green crayon. Sweet home Alabama. It's fine. Uh, where is the other drawing? Down from the TV. Okay. Uh, and then just follow the path. I know, this is completely different. Let's fucking go. Boop. Blue cram. Would you like some crayons, bunny? Oh my god, is this a Five Nights at Freddy's reference? Uh, blue, red, green. Blue, red, green. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very true, brain hook. Uh. Oh god, oh, flashing lights. The TV and you watch each other. Ooh, staring into the void! Hey, Yazaha! <laughs> Uh, more importantly, this episode is titled Lele and Lele Alone. Interesting. Oh, she's in like a peasant house. There's nothing to sit on. Got a stool. Oh, she's separate from the rest of the family. Pink plushie sits by itself. Azaha, are you okay? Are you having a moment? Oh no, I want the pink plushie. Place down the stool. Pink plushie at the table, but it fell right off. Hey, stay. God damn it. Mother plushie won't budge. Father plushie won't budge. Got green plushie. Will the green plushie stay on the chair? Ah. I get it. I understand. Pink plushie fell off his seat. I don't know that meme. Uh, a dare plate sits on the floor. A pillow. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna take the plushies with me. I want them. Oh, I can't leave. Yeah, no wonder why she has issues. Place down the green plushie? Place down the pink plushie. Aw, the plushies seem happy together. I shouldn't go aw. This is fucked up. Uh, yellow plushie won't budge. An empty spot. Purple plushie won't budge. Oh, I get it. Uh, super spring, though, seems to be missing sustenance. Let's see. Let me just look around. Check on the description of each plushie in the inventory. Ooh, okay. Fun facts. Thank you. I would not have done that. Can I pick you? Oh, got a green plushie. Pink plushie. <laughs> Pink plushie was not happy. <gasps> How do I check the description of the mob? Oh, it doesn't say anything. Demon Trinka. The best, 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 best thing ever. Pew, pew, pew. Or maybe it's bang, bang. Useless. Aww. I mean, she is, but it's a little sad. Let's see. Green plushie. This plushie appears to be quite the ladies, man. Oh, I should have placed the pink plushie first. The trash can can now be utilized. Can it really? Yes, it can. Super spring, though seems to be missing sustenance. Can I can I throw the pink plushie in there? There's nothing in the chest. Yeah. Got purple hussy. Purple hussy! 
Got yellow floozy. Okay, wait, let's read the... Uh... Useless. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Alrighty. Oh god, what color was the kid? Purple? Now it's exactly where it belongs. So, uh... Yellow. Oh, is it yellow? Rip. I had a 50-50 shot. No? Do I put it in the trash? Threw yellow plushie into the trash. Bit of a wishful thinking, perhaps. Favorite is green whore. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Uh, missing sustenance. Oh, can I take the parents now? Can I make them into soup? There we go. Now we have sustenance. Yummy, yummy soup. Good for the family. Thank you, game. Take your, take your, uh, the best thing in the world. Oh, let's be locked together forever. There's nothing in the cage. There, all better. Ah, now we go back to the deep man world. This is fun. A pedestal with nothing in it. Enamored evening. Got knife! Remove knife. Got flower. Can I place the flower? Cute. Okay. Not death. They're a happy family couple, what have you. Sunshine. The end. Got heart. Finally, monster. I know, this feels like a branch. Got a broken heart. Once upon a lousy life. Can I... Just in case. Uh... Sunshine? Broken heart. Sunshine. Uh, will the game let me? No, okay. Let me just go and make sure you did it wrong. Um, give me G GTA 8-5. Give me a chance to figure out the puzzle first uh, before hopping in. Alright, let's try Sunshine. Broken Heart. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then we'll, we save so we can try it uh, the other way as well. So this is breaking Ashley's heart. This seems the same path to take. Enter? Yeah, sure. We have little friends! Hello. A spirit. Oh, this place is so happy. Found an empty bottle in the trash. Bottle the spirit. Guess what? It's locked. Snap the branch off from the tree. You gotta stick. Bottle of spirit. Oh, can I just take all of them now? A loose stick breaks off. Got a stick. Can I... Nothing to step on. Do the spirits help me in any way? Can I go... Still locked. That's okay. Oh, wait. Rocks? Rocks won't budge. So budge. Hey. Does this give me something? Use sticks to pull down the rope ladder. Very nice. Take that. Unlock here. I love the equipping sound. That's totally like a Half-Life equipping sound. Got a watering can. Where do I... There we go. Thank you. Spirit. Another branch. Six to carry your way. An entity has appeared. Hello! More sticks! Oh, the game is telling me to get other more sticks. Um, there we go. Thank you. Hello, what's your name? 
There you are, finally. Or is this a different spirit? It's into the bottle with you now. Just kidding. Let's get out of here before it finds us. Andrew? Andrew, where are you? Right here? What the hell? Don't just run off like that. Did you see any visions? I take it that you didn't? Nah, I couldn't sleep. Well, I think I saw some vision, but it didn't seem like anything important. I was just collecting ghosts or something. Nothing about getting caught? Nope, not a thing. Huh, okay. Well, I guess that's a good sign. What? Did you say you couldn't sleep? Yes. Oh my, and for a moment there, I thought you had changed. What are you on about? Mm-hmm, <laughs> nothing, nothing. So what's eating at you? Come on, you can tell me all about it. Tag you, it, it's a shitty meme. Let's go. Oh, I don't know. Something about getting caught red-handed. That the parent, parent aside itself. Come on, let's go ditch the bones already. Every second we wasted is a second we risk getting caught. Uh, is this a different ending? Or is this the same ending that we got before? Uh, does she still drop the heads? Yes, she does. It's different? Okay, cool. Uh, I hate you. It's not my fault. The stupid bag ripped on its own. I don't care. Hurry up and pick them up. Strike. <laughs> Thank you. And then we'll go back and do that a third time. It's fine. Thank God no one's here this hour. Spare. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was two. Okay, don't stay straight too far into the light. Just in case someone does pass by. Uh, only the icky union can strike. <laughs> Icky's rise. Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. Since my bag broke, how do you... How do we make sure the skulls sink? They'll probably be fine. Into the ocean they go. Well, there they went. So they did. Should we recite a prayer or something? Let's not get too sanctimonious here. I feel like we should... I don't know. Say something. You literally hated them. You hated both of them. To, to put it past us. For closure. Closure for what exactly? I don't know. It was just a thought. I'm starting to think you want me to be upset. I'm just worried. I know I don't give a shit, but I thought you did. I did. Ah, fine. Let me think. Yeah, she literally killed them. She stabbed both the, both of them through the chest. Take your time. Dear mom and dad, thanks for giving me life. It's been awful. And thanks for giving me Ashley. And thanks for giving Ashley life. She too has been awful. Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not want me to share my thoughts after all? Some eulogy this is. But go on. Sorry for selling your souls. That was very rude of us. But you sold ours first. So that makes us even, doesn't it? And that's all I have to say. Maybe he has changed after all. You seem a bit down. Are you sure you're not the one who wanted to say something? If so, then go for it. It's not that. Then what? Say now. Now that this has been dealt with, are we in the clear? Honestly, I have no idea. There's always the possibility I overlooked something. That's right. And I bet you did. Huh? Bet you fucked up bad. And we're just waiting to get hauled off to jail right now. Death row, here we come. Wow, thanks, Ashley. Really, way to put my mind at ease. <laughs> you got nothing to fear, as long as I am here with my trinket. I don't know. Didn't you just say the last vision was useless? Uh, yeah, she she wants... She's such a fucking manipulator. Because it gives her ammo to turn around and, like, fucking stab him in the back. Foolish, Andrew. If we'd be in trouble, surely the vision would have showed me that instead. It's better than being ignored, yeah. Do <clears throat> oh my god, I'm choking. To her it is. Uh, you're so confident pulling these assumptions out of your ass, but I hope you're right. Don't you worry, just leave it all to me. But anyway, what should we do now? Leave it all to you, huh? Our next move, Andrew, plan it. Um, well, the money has brought, bought us some time, but we still need to find ourselves new identities. Do we really, though? Can't we just live in the car and mug random people for a living? That's just not going to work for very long. Every time we try our luck, we're more likely to get caught. Then can't we buy fake identities? I know people do that sometimes. Point me to the guy who sells them. I'll get right on that. Ah, the cultist club seems like a really sketchy spot. Maybe someone there knows someone who sells them. Probably not, though. Stop being such a defeatist. Let's go take a little look-see. It's a crap idea to go anywhere near where we killed that guy. Also, that motel was the only one letting us stay with cash only. Fine, but we're leaving the car in some random parking lot. Since there's definitely an ongoing investigation for that hitman's death. Is there? Right, cool. Whatever. Let's get going. I had a mole here? Are you coming or what? In a minute. Let me finish this. 
Waste of time and money. I love it. Huh. Glad to hear it. Ah! Oh, is Andrew a demon? That's fun. Yes, other route. Uh, which one was it? Was it... File 11? Yes, okay. So... Uh, there we go, okay. Oh yeah, which save do we start episode 3 from? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, somehow it seems like a highly questionable idea to take this route. Yeah, that's fine. Nice! Ooh, a key. Got key. Let's read all these, though. Siblings. You know what you <laughs> you are about, parents. Let's see. Start episode three from all of them? Yeah, fucking really, classmates. We do every single one. Friends. Got green plushie. Uh... Nice. This is fine. Just Ashley. Always Ashley. No one else. We don't need her. Mom the martyr. Yeah, fuck her. Oh, hey, it's our demon friend. Hello. Penny for your thoughts? No deal. Only Andy. Come on, give me one word. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, no! Oh, no! Fuck! Rock! Sweet! Alabama! Arcturus Fountains of Blue! Mortifying. Huh. Didn't seem like that a minute ago. I have to voice this. This is worse for me than it is all of you. <laughs> oh. So I think you meant to say gratifying. I don't like the bite marks on her shoulders. Oh, he has claw marks. He has claw marks. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god, it, oh my god. <laughs> the runny mascara, Jesus Christ. Big words don't fit in your mouth. Yeah, something else fit in it just fine earlier. Oh, so yeah, oh yeah, so mortified are you. Oh, ah! some guilty conscience you've got. Better than yours. Come here, come here, you. <laughs> but wait, gently, gently, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> the vision ends without you dying. Oh, thank God, it's just a vision. It didn't actually happen. So at least there's that, you suppose. Well, you wonder if Andrew saw it too. We died. Okay. I'm so. Oh, yes, we all died inside. Thank God it didn't fucking actually happen. Not yet. Oh, the vision predicts the future. Oh, God. And I think it's good that the mic clipped at the end because I was fucking screaming. It's a good ending if you didn't die, but we want her to die. You wonder if Andrew saw it, too. Yes. Mayhaps. Oh, oh shit, you're awake. Well, hello to you, too. Uh, yeah, good morning. Or evening, I guess. Whatever. Right, so hey, did you get a vision? Nope. Probably not. Really? Do you see dreams like that a lot, then? I don't. <laughs> so you did see it. Quite the vision, huh, big brother? That was not a vision. The demon is messing with us. Yeah, that's it. That's just it. It's because we tried to be cheap and get two visions for the price of one. So it gave us a fake vision instead. That's the only explanation that makes sense. Oh, please. I mean, it is your trinket. Clearly you were right and I wasn't supposed to use them. 
sure, sure, keep selling it. I'm totally fine. Screw you. Yeah, just might. Fuck off. Do you honestly think that? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Listen here, you. Fucking spare me. I don't want to hear it. You just helped me desecrate our parents' corpses. Yeah, getting laid is what you're freaking out about. Yeah, getting laid with my sister is what I'm, get I'm freaking out about. No one got laid. And you keep telling me I messed up. What a joke. <laughs> oh, poor Andrew. We're not like that, are we? I don't know. You just come off that way sometimes. Huh? How so? A tad jealous. Oh dear, what's that? Witchful thinking? Tell, tell that to my ex. Let's not pretend that you... Let's not pretend you don't have a bit of a jealous streak yourself. Now that's wishful thinking. Fat chance. Get over yourself. <sighs> I don't think I need to ask you this, but let me anyway. It's never gonna come to that, right? You and me? Like, this is the funnier one. And this is something Ashley would say. So. Never say never, Andrew, my dear. Oh my fucking god. It's not funny. Don't joke about this. Why? Am I getting your hopes up? Or maybe something else? Say, did that vision get you? I'm out of here. Why is this such a massive issue to you? We've done way worse things together. Like what? Starve together? Like, I, that's not worse. Oh, I guess murder is probably worse than fucking your sibling, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, murdering people. I forgot that part. <laughs> uh, I honestly figured it would happen eventually. Why, 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 why are you like this? Why would you say this? Why would you think this? I, wow. What a landmine, huh? Well, yeah. Ah, uh, forget this. Forget this whole thing. Fine. But that was clearly a vision. So it'll probably come up sooner or later. Well, in your last vision, guys slit our throats. Yet here we are. I <laughs> tried the blind. <laughs> yeah. I think that is what I'm saying. Oh. oh. Both are bad, but, um... The murder cannibalism was, like, justifiable, though, because they would have starved. That's my hot take. Hot takes only. With Kitsune Tuber. Yeah, that one. Okay, cool. Well, your last vision, a guy slit our throats. Yeah, here we are. So let's just leave it at that. Alright, then, if you say so. Andrew sweeps the elephant under the rug and calls it day. But only that one, yeah. No, no, eating the parents was not justified. They were assholes. It depends- no, cannibalism depends on the context. If you're about to die, they, then being a cannibal is, like, justified. If you are about to fucking die, it is justified. However, in the case of their parents, it's not justified there. Because they, they have plenty of food and they had money. Like, they could have just had soup without the- the- the death. Perfectly reasonable. <laughs> Not human soup. Yes. Yes, you could have had human free soup. Uh, anyway, let's go throw mom and dad into the ocean, yeah? Yes. Uh. uh. This. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> so much. <laughs> what I feel. The family recipe. Yeah, it's just like Treasure Planet. Which I need to rewatch. Alright, yes. Drop the skulls. I hate you. Not my fault. Stick the bag. This feels the same. Hello. No one's here at this hour. Off we go. Vroom vroom. Yeah, really. You think they would know? This is like the third time killing their parents. <laughs> yeah, double bag it. Uh. In case someone does pass by, blah blah blah. Drops the bag with bones. This is, uh, should probably be fine in that case. Bet I can throw further than you. This is new. This is fun. Bet you can't. Oh, yeah. Definitely. On the count of three. One, two. Ah! Oh, what's that? Looks like I won. Andrew, don't be making light of this situation. Filthy cheat. Nope, you never said pushing wasn't allowed. Oh yeah? Well, here's your fucking prize, jackass. It's a fist to the face. Aw, oh, hug. Why, thank you, thank you. He's a little bit too comfortable with her now. <laughs> Ashley's a fucking raptor, apparently. That's the plot twist. 
That's true, Zaha. Yes, always double bag, especially with me. You're a little different lately. Am I no fun anymore? Hmm, more like, let me think. I haven't been sleeping lately. Are you actually looking for a fight? I'm not talking about that. I mean, just in general. Your insomnia and nightmares. How are those? Ah, it's been decent, all things considered. Yeah. Unexpectedly, you seem to be doing just fine. Well, don't be happy for me or anything. <laughs> Andy's all grown and doesn't need me anymore. Andy is dead. I don't think he needs anything. Even so, there's the trinket too. You're apparently the only one allowed to use it, so there's that. I don't know about that, but it certainly showed me one way to keep him around. Heh, <laughs> I suppose. Right. I'm honestly pissed we don't know what's coming next. It's really hard to plan what to do now. Ah, right. So what do we do? The money has brought us some time, and we still need to find ourselves some new identities. Do we really, though? Can't we just live in the car and mug random people for a living? That's just not going to... Oh, uh, we don't this. One of the likely... Fake identities. Cultist. Probably not, but... Uh, da, da, da. Oh, let's get going. Okay. here uh is this part the same okay this part is all the same end of episode two yes all right uh i'll have to go oh ah. i have to i have a sneeze no the sneeze is not coming fuck right. well that was fun <laughs> did we all have a good time uh being traumatized because i sure did oh i gotta stretch Yeah, fucking really. Well, it makes sense for Ashley. How many people we got here? We got 13. I had a great time? Good, I'm glad to hear Iggy. I'm glad you... Maybe the other, other Iggy did it. I shouldn't put words in the other Iggies. Thank you for stream. Thanks for coming, Vlad. Always appreciate it. Um, who should we raid? Oh, we should raid Tori Snowfall. It's, it's, it's been a while. Uh, she's kind of just doing a, a chill... Oh, thank you for sip. I will sip in one moment. Actually, I'll sip right now. Ah, thank you. Oh, it's stretch. Ah, uh, thank you for stretch. Happy to be here. Happy to have you. Thanks so much for coming, Alex. And thank you. Lots of new people tonight. So thank you. Other Yankee had a good time as well. Excellent. Yeah. Seems, seems like... Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the bonk. Void hangover. I appreciate that. Thank you, Brain Hook. Yeah, let's raid Tori. It's been a while since we said hi to Tori. Snowfall. Did I spell her name right? Yes. Okay, cool. I feel like using labels. Accelerator. Oh man, my throat is killing me. Feel free to use whatever emotes you like. If you're if you're not sub, just use whatever you like. Or if you are a sub, you don't have to use my emotes. Do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> I'm not I'm not your mom. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, thanks so much for everyone for hanging out. Thanks all the new people for chilling and vibing. It was it was a fun time. Lots of screaming, lots of pain, but you know. We expected that, so whenever part three comes out, we will certainly be playing it live. Uh, but I will see you all at Tori Snowfall stream, and I will be back Wednesday next week. Probably, I, think we're, I don't know what we're gonna do Wednesday, but we will certainly be doing something Wednesday. Uh, but yeah, I will see you all at Tori's stream. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.